Hello. Hey guys, we're here. Let's do this. Sun in Taurus, shall we? All signs. Um, <clears throat> we just, this is where, this was sad, sad. We were cleaning up from um, the sad reading right there. So we extended into members, it was weekly, and uh, we did a 12 year projection on a weekly. So, yes, thank you guys for those of you who tuned in there. It was a very interesting read. And, um, yeah, that was on Members Weekly for the Extended Eclipse. All right. Sun and Taurus, anybody? <clears throat> Do we have any takers? <laughs> Whoa, Jade. Okay, let's um, get these energies here. We're doing all signs. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your support <clears throat> on this channel. Alchemy you. I'm a channeler. Return it to sender in the crown. I'm hearing the name Rob really strongly here. Maven. <coughs> Return in the crown. <coughs> Seeing the color blue and green. Like the colors of the earth. Okay, so let's jump in. <clears throat> We're gonna first get some initial energies. Um, that could have just been a very specific message from some spirit guide to them. Um, Sagittarius just fell on my lap there. Some of you may have um, a Sagittarius on your mind as well. That could be a very big message for someone. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's jump in first with a collective and see here any signs that we need to look at. We've got Capricorn, okay. We'll be looking at the astrology side um, of things on members more so. This will be more like a reading, channeling, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn. Also seeing ca Cancer here. Okay, so some of you here could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Cap, like big time during this transit. This is just the collective read so far. I mean, you're in Aliva, Alia, Aleve. Is that a type of a medication? Strength. Yeah, we are seeing strong Leo. So I'm meaning it really, really good with a Taurus. If you're not on good terms, we'll see. This is a general, very general. It's a collective rewrite as at that. But um, yeah, we're gonna get more specific there. Oh yeah, someone here is coming in for some of you. They are a uh, Taurus from your past, okay? Who was really, um, could have been a Cap Leo Taurus actually with the devil, with the strength card, you know, um, the high priestess even, okay, justice. Ooh, so you're gonna get the really close to a Capricorn. This is just collective, okay? Um, but yeah, it could be one person. This, and I do see, I do see holy matrimony between y'all, okay? Yep. Yeah, but the Ace of Swords, it could be literally, yep, Six of Pentacles. It could literally be like, um, mm -hmm. you guys, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, let's get married, jacket edge. They want like a serious connection. So the Seven of Wands. This is someone you've had history with. Um, they and you. The lovers could have had a really rocky start, um, but they were ready to finish it right with you. All right. They, um, and, you know, they're very maybe attractive. This person could have a lot of suitors or you felt that they did. Um, yeah, I, I see you guys getting back together. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Let's get a little further. Someone here um, is really into the ocean sea could be travel sea travel maybe there um i'm even here something about the navy i'm seeing oh that mini cooper again the emerald green like it's literally like this color uh-huh if we turn the heart chakra clear this person has a very high ranking position they could be even like i'm um, here for something a naval officer they could be in the army um, the navy i'm hearing they are doing something they're like a cadet mm -hmm. some of you and they could have been maybe, yeah, I'm hearing like they were out at sea. Now, clear on the harsh chakra. Let's get a little bit here on now the signs that we need to look at. That was just a very general first message. Someone needed to hear that, perhaps. So, um, Spirit, thank you for tuning in. Can we please get some details here on the first sign that we'll be doing, which is the sign of Aries? Aries. 
Aries, you're dealing with a Pisces Scorpio. Ooh, okay. Some of you, um, Amir, when someone's going to be making you really happy, you could have been in a trouble spot with a Scorpio or Pisces, or you'll know how this resonates for you. But um, this message, but yeah, like some someone was something wasn't working out, Aries. Okay, yep, here we are. Interesting. It seems like things that were sort of hard will become easy. <laughs> and yeah, this is a general video, but yeah, oh yeah, from the Death card to the Sun. Wow. Um, we were in Ali, 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 Judgment. <laughs> if someone was stubborn, interestingly, I see them sort of giving, giving the stubborn up for. Sweet. <laughs> Believe it or not, Nine of Cups in the Smacked Up. You're going to love this. Oh, my God. Aries. Like, who is this? Like, there's something that's going to just be so, so lovely between you and this person now. Um, yeah, some of you. Let's get a little bit here. From the 8-8 eight, eight Oracle. Wow. This person, I feel they're waiting to come in. If they are coming into like into your life, they're they're waiting. They're like waiting to be let in, more or less. Capricorn, Saturn. Some you could be dealing with a cap, or you have a really strong sinistry where tenth house energies are prominent. Lover moi. Someone maybe was like a workaholic in the past, or they like couldn't focus on you. Like this is gonna change now. This person likes to wear sunglasses, or there's something about sunglasses. Maybe the last time you saw them, they were wearing sunglasses change your mind about me yeah wow i see this person getting serious it says my heart hurts let me in wow okay it says i'm new to this love story can i join i think this person's gonna approach you it says my heart takes off when you greet me and lands when you leave me oh this person wants um to, they want they want a new beginning with you they want to start with you they want to heal with you um, they're very happy as well. If you do reunite, like, it's making them really happy. All right. We have Judgment, the Sun. We have the Death card again. These are all major arcana, y'all, with the Nine of Cups. This is, a honestly, a really nice energy. I feel that you're coming out of this darkness. Can I get a little bit more on the Scorpio Pisces? Um, clear on the sake world. You guys could have been in a trouble spot, I repeat. Like, a really hard energy here. What's interesting is we have that Death card with Scorpio, and we've got the Nine of Cups with Pisces. When that's the ruling energies of those two, right, planetary archetypes. Like, Pisces ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. Nine of Cups, we're looking at strong Jupiter energy. But the Death card, that's all Scorpio right there. It's a major icon of Scorpio in and of itself. So, someone here could be a Sun in Pisces, even is what I do get. Someone could have Jupiter. Yeah, as well. Okay, but um, the metaphor of love, flirt, seduction, Mercutio, her humorous, loyal, devoted, wow, frenetic. Okay, wow. You and this person, some of you are going to bump into each other. I see someone's heart beating fast, like, whoa. Like, you're going to bump into this person. It's like one of those moments where um, someone has soft brown, wispy hair, almost like a honeycomb brown color hue. Um, someone wants um, to, like, talk to you, I feel. And, like, there's this pressure building. Um, this is about Mercury. It could be that once uh, Mercury goes clear from post shadow retrograde, it's going to really get very, very, very open between the two of you. Like you and this person are going to really start, really start connecting, like be more than you've ever connected in the past before. Step forward on flirt seduction. <laughs> it says accelerate, bring forward, make progress. I'm hearing make the first move. So, it, um, you know, someone could have been holding back. Maybe you guys didn't even like get the ball rolling at all. I'm seeing something about um, I'm hearing something about a pool, chlorine in the pool. Uh, maybe you've seen each other many times, but you never really quite like, you know what I'm saying? Like open, open the convo up. Capulet, Mercutio, unrequited love. Maybe the environment was a little bit weird. It, it was maybe in, in, and it wasn't conducive for you guys to really connect like the way that you both maybe see that you could. So in the sake, we'll clear it. Okay. Let's get here. Um, can I get a signifier card, please, Spirit, on Pisces? Page of Swords. Okay. If you're the Pisces, you were thinking that this Scorpio probably, for whatever reason, wasn't going to, like, like you or something. That's kind of, like, what I'm feeling. Like, you felt that, for so many reasons, like, you assumed this person wasn't this person wouldn't find you to be their type. I'm seeing a white Tesla. I'm hearing against all odds. Like, you feel self-conscious, I feel, Pisces. Um, 
Whoa. The tower card in a separate deck on the death card on Scorpio. So that's all, Scor I mean, that's very Scorpio. King of Swords, okay. I feel like uh, someone was intimidated. And the death card in the theme, whoa. And the eight of wands, y'all. This is someone who's definitely Scorpio, okay? And this is definitely Pisces. Now, it obviously can be just general energies, but, you know, the merging, um, the beautification, even we'll say, the, the, the seamlessness, assimilation, the assimilative properties now for you in present of Aries, of, Aries, of Pisces and Scorpio. But there's something merging here, definitely. I see that um, this is healthy energy as well. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse. But, like, at first there was maybe even, like, um, someone was feeling insecure. Uh, they were feeling... Um, kind of sensitive, like, you know, like, oh, I don't really think that this is going to work out. Like, Pisces, whoever this Pisces is, they were more cynical here. Um, maybe, you know, uh, oh, I'm here and stay. Won't you stay? Is it by Rihanna? Stay. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> they were assuming that, I don't know, like, it maybe it's about commitment. Maybe they, I, I just see this even contentious energy at a certain point between the two of them. Aries, you may be actually connecting to people, whether or not you know it. Just saying. All right. Can I get a little more here for Aries? You could be an Aries, um, but you could have a lot of Pisces or Scorpio. And you're dealing with someone who has, like, the other energy. So let's say you're an Aries, Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Pisces or someone who has a lot of Pisces. Yeah, tempers in reverse. Okay. This is a new beginning between two people. Absolutely. I'm seeing a sun umbrella here. Let me get a little bit more. Someone was maybe... Um, if you got into an argument, you're going to heal that. I see you both, like, kind of just giving up this fight. Like, okay, let's talk. Like, I love you. I hear that even. Um, two, three, four... I see vulnerability. Especially in the first deacon. Three days into this transit of Sun and Taurus... You know, um, I see you guys meeting up. I, I see you a bit speechless. Like, oh my God, like, I can't, like, not do something about this. Maybe even you meet this person in a very serendipitous circumstance and scenario. Like, you just have to return it, clear throat chakra. It's like, I have to write back that, that movie line. Mm hmm. Letters to Juliet. You got to write back. I mean, you just got to walk up to them and say something, you know, at a certain point. Like, this is a huge opportunity, even. Somebody here has blue eyes. Yeah, they want to give them something that will be a signifier of trust, of love, the olive branch extension kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. I see that you guys have great potential for communication in the last deacon, uh, this knight of swords, okay? Probably when we're entering into Gemini season. Third deacon, Taurus, thir first deacon, gem. Third deacon, Taurus, first deacon, gem, and a lot of potential will... Um, begin to sort of gestate, you'll feel like, I feel like now it's a good time for us to connect. Um, the star in reverse. Yeah, you guys were separated, I feel. And I feel like you love each other a lot. Like, you and this person, you have so much in common, even the two of cups. This is serendipitous. It's meant to be. Um, it's very, very sacred, even. Okay. Um, and you don't want to lose this person. Someone is going to have you in mind for even something here, and they'll tell you about that with the Lover's Night, the Swords, in the last week. Someone here is definitely a Pisces. I'm here in Marvelous, Marvel. Yeah, you're going to feel appreciated. If you're a Pisces, Aries, you're going to feel really... There's a Scorpio coming towards you who's going to appreciate the shit out of you, okay? And you're going to just be, like, glowing, like... Oh my god. <laughs> Strength. With the Seven of Cups, yeah. So, the main theme here, I feel, is healing, is reconciliation. There's someone specific that you're going to get good with. You're going to get much better with. You're going to get on good terms again with this person. I see you guys being vulnerable, being, um, you know, honest in that you want maybe to have healing together, which is the first step, of course. Um, if we have egos and we're like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter that much to me, then we don't make much, much progress. Okay, let's get just a few more thematic cards, Spirit. Can I get a little bit more on that Three of Swords, Upright with Temperance in Reverse, please, in that first, very first again. Divorce, yeah. So, um, some of you, someone here was blocked off as well. They're going to communicate why they were, you know, what what was behind all of that. With a narcissist and divorce, with intimacy, there is, again, that bringing together, that healing. Um, I'm going to go get some oracles here. I have a, an oracle deck that I want to use, and...
You and this person went to, uh, um, on a vacation before to, like, a casino or something? This someone very specific. Player on the lovers. Oh. Spirit. Can I have a little more in that second deacon or third deacon? Okay, the third deacon. Wow. It says you're my type. Oh, it says you're not my type. Player. Someone was under the impression... Okay, like, this is gonna get cleared up. Listen, whatever it is... Yeah, what the fuck? Something doesn't, doesn't add up. So, something doesn't, f um you know, really feel right even. And you're going to expose that maybe together, you know, Hey, like I, I think that we're getting the wrong idea about each other in some way that's in the third week, or we're getting the wrong idea about like what this is to us and what we want, what we feel this is. It says I'm an entity. Okay. So, um, yeah. And maybe someone's going to expose even another person here. Like that's why I'm acting in this way. Um, some of you, if there was a third party, you'll figure that out in the third week. Um, in the third deacon, do we fit? Somebody could also be kind of sensitive. Um, they're they're a bit self conscious when it comes to sex. Oh, Sir Mix a lot in reverse. Hey, Alex, Alex, no barking. Isaac, no barking. Or I put you in the playpen dolls. No, uh, uh, tss, Alex, I said no barking. So yeah, Sir Mix a lot. Um, someone wasn't maybe ready to get intimate. Maybe you, so the other person took it personally. Like, anyways, whatever it is, like, yeah, if it hurt their feelings or even um, perhaps like perhaps if it was a feelings thing like that hurt my feelings it got sensitive about why you didn't want to like um i don't know i'm hearing this like pull my pants down i don't know something happened like it didn't go all the way or something even um mm -hmm. someone has something to say to explain for themselves leave me alone on the first week yeah hmm. someone i think told you like i don't care about this i don't want to see you again oh Y'all, like, that, um, that's done. That's, that's over with, okay? You and this person, you have a lot more where this comes from. It's not over between the two of you. Another Playboy card. Oh, my God. Someone was pushing somebody away, even. Like, for serious. Like, they told them even to their face. Um, I feel like there's a physical component here. We do have Mercury retrograde in the theme. It seems like there's a misunderstanding and that it will be steamed and ironed out. Between the two of you, it says, I'm not your one Playboy. Hmm. also be potentially for some that you know this um was a misunderstanding and that and that makes me think of the aries um it was a few years ago this is all a big misunderstanding i think it was october's read so it'd be kind of interesting to see what comes through in this october of this year because i feel like some of you there is a big, big misunderstanding uh i see a big ball bouncing where someone even assume like that you just wouldn't like them like that okay it's like i thought that you wouldn't really like me like that so i was kind of assuming that um or acting like this or that way i'm here in the letter g okay so let's get a little bit further here with the letter charms i'm here i thought you didn't see me like that okay you're gonna have like a meal with this person um there's something you're going, you guys are going to sit down and really work on together i hear it's going to be you're going to feel the mutuality of the effort made nqc yeah i'm here and we have ic yeah you guys are i feel gonna talk um someone was very quick to assume something i see a white dove here i see healing we have e b b e Amir and I wasn't sure if, like, I was enough for you. I hear that. Um, we have BF, maybe boyfriend. It could be that also, you know, maybe someone literally thought, there's a spirit guide working this, by the way. The back end, definitely. Guardian in reverse right there. Um, at the bottom of the deck. 
Yeah, with the strength card as well. Like this, it's one of those moments where even the misunderstanding was meant to be. You know, something like of that sort. Like that had to happen at that time. Like this was, yeah, we we planned this. We orchestrated this. So maybe you both kind of have this moment of like, I'm happy it happened that way. Honestly, you know, I'm glad we kind of got into that tip back there, and then it led to this at this point in time. Now, some of you, um, we, yeah. Um, you're fit to make what you do um but yeah uh, there was a moment of um open up your heart wow of like i just don't think yeah I, I thought that you were even taken i'm hearing that okay so it's really a marker retrograde kind of thing misunderstanding I, I i think it's about that big time like it probably is going to be very much tied to this marker retrograde okay let's get into the next sign thank you so much taurus for tuning in major standout days i'd say okay can i get some dates for yes yeah, seventh this number is overall not just date wise seven eleven ones and twos are going to be key for you i feel heat in the left ear there is something you're finally defeating okay you're you're not only defeating, but you are dissolving. You are just sort of destroying the illusion is what I hear. You're sort of dissolving the distance as well between you and someone. And it's mostly in the mind's eye. Like, I don't want that to be the case, but like I've sort of acted it maybe, okay, that I did want that to be the case. And maybe you're realizing like yourself, where is it that I've sort of extended part of myself that is not true to this person? Or, you know, where was I not being real with myself? You know, was I kind of acting even hard when I wanted to be soft? Like, was I telling this person I didn't care when I did? Something of that sort. I think it's largely subliminal. Let's get into the next sign. Thank you, Taurus, for tuning in. Again, the number's 11, 7, and tw twos. I'm hearing 27 as well. You know, someone could have also acted like they didn't want to have healing with you, that it wasn't worth it, it wasn't that important, it was a priority. They're going to show that that does matter. You know, having a good um, foot here that you all stand on together is important. Okay. Thank you, Taurus, for tuning Oh, Aries, thank you for tuning in. Aries. Wow. So, but Taurus is a key, pl key. In this April chakra, when we're chakra return to sender, we are moving from Aries to Taurus as well, and then new moon eclipse in Aries, right? Um, there's a lot yet still going on with Taurus um, for us. So, but let's now officially, okay, it wasn't quite Taurus. So, but maybe Aries, you want to check out the Taurus read as well. There could be some focus there and you pulled the Taurus card. You can also use those initial cards as signs for the signs to watch. So maybe you want to watch Taurus, Leo, and Capricorn, which we pulled initially for you. Uh, but always keep an open mind, clear the energy. There is also someone here who maybe you have to sort of get really honest with, a bit tough with, and really to sort of place. Taurus, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. This is your season. First of all, happy solar return. Those of you who are sun sign Taurus. If you have a Venus in the sign, then yeah, happy Venus return. Let's jump into it. Reptilians. Okay. Something here about um, your environment. It's like either not healthy, literally. I'm seeing like a thick smog. Yeah, yeah. There's something you're realizing. Like, I don't really think this is a good idea. You maybe even like realize something is unhealthy. Um, like you were like, why am I coughing? And then you're going to pinpoint it like, oh, shoot. So maybe you're having an asthma situation going on in... in I see smoke here somehow. So I see you healing maybe even something in the environment, um, healing, maybe sealing uh, like an aperture, something here. I, there was like a perforation even. Like you didn't realize, oh, shoot, like this window was open and the smog is coming through from somewhere. You need to maybe maybe look at the air quality side of things in your home. Maybe you're going to start looking more into that. That's very specific. Mm -hmm. But um, I see you kind of being like, oh, shit, that's what it was. It's with a vent, some kind of vent. Ventilation as well. Some of you here, there's something about your love life as well, specifically at home. Um, something about that maybe needs to change. <laughs> Can I get a little more on that? Maybe you're like, something about your home with your windows. The windows open and like, I'm seeing something either about, it's like air and like also maybe sound. Some of you, you need more privacy. Like when you're having, let's say, sex at home, you know, this is what I'm hearing. It's very specific. Ten of wands or you maybe invest in like um, you're going to finally invest or invent some sort of contraption so that you have more privacy at home so that you're not going to be you're going to have more control over your environment. It's something that is a kind of um, important and maybe pressing with the ten of wands. You may finally um, figure out a way to sort of like conceal a window or like. Yeah. So by the way, I'm a channeler. This is um, 
I'm an oracle, we're channeling here, just so you know. The moon here, ten of wands, and the four of cups. Yeah, like, people could see you, or, like, you could hear people, or there was something, like, I feel like you're gonna finally figure out a way, like, you're gonna put some, some kind of, uh, maybe buffer in the wall so that your neighbor can't hear you with something, or something like that. Or you won't be able to get, like, um, the smell, even, maybe you live next to, there's a vent for, into a restaurant, into your home, and it's like, oh, I, I don't want to be smelling the restaurant, like, you know, air. So you're going to figure out a way to handle that. So the sun. Now, some of you, this is something you need to maybe pay for or you need to get something figured out here, like literally hire someone to figure this out. Um, and it may be a bit expensive, but I see that you're going to like prioritize this. Um, you can't put it off anymore is what I do get. The two wands, it's going to become a priority for you. I really strongly feel something about air quality. Some of you are going to have to move because this is not going to work for you. Like maybe you're realizing that the air quality where you live at is really giving you a lot of systemic issues um, with your, uh, let me bring some about your lungs. So you need to maybe target that. Maybe you want to look into air filtration systems and so on. Yeah, honk right there. Return it. So some of you, there's like something about the environment though. It's like maybe there are a lot of people in your environment. Maybe you have um, a lot of people walking in and out. I'm almost getting something like an Airbnb or like a hostile, hostile situation where you just have too many people and you want privacy more. It's like, but there are too many people talking, walking and making noise. And it's like, you're not getting in the mood for this here with um, this sexuality card. Okay, so there's something that you... Um, yeah, you need to kind of like change in your environment so that you feel more comfortable in another capacity. And I just really though get that. It also will impact your your um your lungs for however reason. I'm seeing that maybe even literally like you feel you can't really talk even. It could be your throat chakra. I am seeing that um as being something you can't put off. Like, okay, that's it. I have to be able to talk. Maybe you feel you're living in like a library. It's like I can't talk loud. <laughs> we have Anunnaki because maybe you don't want to disrupt your roommates or something like that, or people can hear the your voice reverberating and it's making it's giving you stress. Now yeah, you're going to buy something or invent something or invest in something. It's something like on a window or a wall. It's something so that like maybe people can't see you. Okay, something. Mm -hmm. Again, reptilians in reverse. Yeah, you're going to have like, I think you're going to check me this energy. It could even be like surveillance. Maybe someone's surveilling you or like they tapped your phone. Like you're going to unravel something here for sure. Mm hmm I'm hearing, yeah. Maybe you even need to move apartments or, like, you need to move homes or rooms. Um, just return the table. Yeah. I better than I keep seeing something about your health. So, interesting. Now, maybe more generally, like, you feel you just can't really open up or talk about the things you want to. Maybe you feel a bit oppressed in your environment. Return it and throw talk or, like, your environment maybe is um, not allowing you to be fully um, um, uh, expro expressive and emotive. And I see you've been um, really dealing with that. Like it's been making you feel rather uncomfortable. Okay, it hasn't been just anything little here. This is something that you would be feeling on a daily basis, okay? And it's, like, stressing you out. That's what I hear it has been. I'm seeing that you finally need to, like, say something or do something about this. I see a yellow car. Um, maybe there's a bit of, like, an awkward side to this um, where you, you know, you, d you didn't want to have to do this. But, yeah, anyways, it sounds like it's a pretty big deal. Uh-huh, clear down the back, yeah. Some of you even, maybe you need to expose something. Let's get into your Deacon spread. Thank you, Taurus. First, I'd like to get some letter charms here. I'm here in Hulu. It's like, I almost feel you felt someone was like watching you or something. The so letter B, H, O. I'm here in B, O. <laughs> maybe you have a roommate who doesn't care much for deodorant and or whatever things um or detoxing right because uh, everything's a symptom that's what i do believe we have i it comes from somewhere ain't random right and so we have ins i'm here insurance maybe you're looking into insurance pin we have pin pins maybe like pin number i a y f c yeah some of you, you live next to a club it's really fucking loud and you're like i know i need to leave it's like they're playing this like loud like music at night and the smell of the bar and the grill. We have ECN. Yeah, so. All right, guys. Um, let's now get the cards for the Deacons. Thank you guys for your support on this channel by hitting the like button. I'm here in grief, le lean, green, leafy greens. Maybe you feel like your environment doesn't have the 
types of foods you need. Like maybe you're, let's give an example. Let's say you're a pescatarian. It's like you're living somewhere that specializes more like the, I mean, you're in the industrial. It's in, very industrial there. Maybe you just don't have the, you need to move, I think, some of you. I'll be very, very honest. You know, you don't have access to the things you need. I mean, premier selection. It's like, you're just like going to be like, what am I doing living in the city that doesn't actually, like, these are my priorities and they don't, they can't cater to what I need. So it's like, this doesn't make any sense for me, you know? It's like, I need organic food. I need biodynamic food. I need good food, you know, grown in soil that has a lot of minerals and nutrients. What am I doing in the city that is like, there's, we just, you just have a McDonald's, you know, five miles from here. There's something that's not going to work for you in the long term. I think you're going to realize that. Maybe you didn't know. M you know, you maybe moved somewhere and you're like, uh-uh, I can't do this. Like, there's not even a single smoothie shop around. There's nothing like health conscious around. I got to go. Like, I can't do this. So, ten of swords here. Maybe you did, um, you moved to a city you're not familiar with and, and then you, once you get there, it's like, uh, yeah, so I don't think I can do this. There's like smoke or smog coming from maybe even, uh, yeah, something about a landline as well. Um, okay. It sounds like it's a home that's not working for you. Yeah. Maybe even you're feeling worried or you're too close to neighbors in the poles for the landlines. What is it? The electricity? you got to be careful with that, with the emitting of the, yeah, you want to look into that, the high priestess. You don't want to be close to those landlines as well. You're, something is just, it's like, it's abrasive to you even, like, okay. Yeah, you need, yeah, you're going to move, Taurus. I see you moving. Um, it, some of you, in, um, it's two, something about the number two. It could be on the 2nd, on the 22nd. It could be on the 21st for some of you. It can, though, also be in two weeks, in two days, in two months. So you may have to, like, cancel out a contract. You know, maybe you even signed a lease and you're going to have to cancel that contract. Yeah, I see you being like, in the long term, this is not going to work. Like, because it's even a hazard. You're not feeling comfortable, God forbid, you know, or safe. Like, something about wind and, like, um, poles, electricity poles. Ten of wands. Yeah, and, like, okay. So, I think you were very excited about this, but then it just didn't work out. Um, but you're happy to make this change. Not just happy, but desperate to make this change. I feel you're like, oh, I can't wait to get out of here. So... I mean, you're in cap. Yeah, you could be, like, talking to someone to see how you can negotiate maybe even something here. Maybe you're going to, like, talk to them and be like, hey, I didn't know, like, you know, you arrived to the Airbnb and it's smelling, like, I don't know, really bad or something. And it's like, I need to, like, change. Please, can we find a way? We have family. I'm crushing, like, fuck on you. I think there was something you misinterpreted, possibly, even about... Maybe you were living with someone's family, it can be, and you were thinking that this was going to be a great idea. It says, Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yeah, like, someone's waking up early, maybe in the morning, and they're, like, using the blender really, really loudly. It's like, okay, it says, you need to detox from me. Okay. Take it as you will, Taurus. I'll leave that there. Um, the, number uh, two and seven. Uh, I'm here in uh, the fourth. Something about four and two. Two is going to be your key in terms of the change. So, um, yeah. Can I get um, clear on the return to center? I'm going to do a quick monthly spread for Taurus. It's your birthday season. Let's see where these changes will take us in the capacity of this year. The, rem the remaining months in this uh, 2024 season. Return it. Yeah, some of you even you have a weird situation maybe with a roommate. It's like, I can't take this anymore. Like, I'm skirting around this person. Um, we have also SCMC in South Carolina. Just clear it. Don't lost anybody. Yeah, something was like maybe mismarketed to you. Um, we have boil. Yeah, maybe it's even like a um, you're in a dorm and you just need to change your dorm. We have pay. You're like, listen, I'm willing to pay. Like, I just need to get out of this. So we have NEC, NFC. NCSC, North Carolina, South Carolina. It's like, it's just as simple as like, I need to go from north to south. I think I'm more, you're finding out what's right for you, maybe. It can be like, I think that I'm more like a North Carolina kind of girl versus South Carolina kind of guy. It's like, uh, I just need to, yeah, be making that change in soon. 
Um, yeah, I think you were very, very eager to, to, to see, um, options. Okay, more options, yeah. Maybe even the car, like, you got a car and it's, like, smelling weird, or, uh, when you're driving it. It's just something is off, y'all. I think that maybe you invested in this possibly during a retrograde season. We have BH can be, like, a Beverly Hills. We have Bill as well. Bill. We have HO, 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 ho. Oh, or Ohio. Okay. Tell me about biology. Return it. Tell me about like bio, bio. Yeah, bio, biology. I'm here in OH minus. Interesting. We have Hill as well. Yeah, it could be a job you started. You know, it's just getting something is getting out of hand, like not what you expected. I'm here in Yeehaw. Maybe you're in the middle of freaking nowhere, Taurus, even. It's like, oh, my God, I'm, I, I swear, like, can I hear like this? I don't have a single, like, even, even, like, I'm here with something about a Frigidaire. There's, I, there's something that's not there for miles. So the situation's not good, and I think that you, you know, you've just been waiting even for a time to just get out of this. So maybe you needed to get out of a lease. You need to find a subletter. We have N uh, NFS. Hmm. All right, y'all. Uh, Taurus, let's get a quick Deacon uh, spread. letter C. At first, I think you were trying to just see if it would work out, but no. Like, a return, it's not healthy, whatever this is, even, like, even a, a minute. It's like, I can't even, like, breathe in here. Maybe you've got a hotel room, and it's like smoke. It, there was a smoker in there before. You're like, oh, I gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I personally understand that. Um, I, can, I cannot stand that smell. Like, mm-mm. Yeah, so let's get here further. Oh, the yearly spread. It's kind of giving me as well, like you were maybe trying to be nice to someone. It's like, uh, I gotta take my smile back. I, I don't, this is not working. Right. Okay, two of cups. Some you, someone's talking too much. Yeah. As well. Maybe you dated someone and uh, you're just realizing, I think we're actually not compatible. So the two of cups, four of cups, someone likes to talk. Somebody else is like not really a talker. Yeah. So um, maybe you feel a little bad, but April may return the same world. April. Yeah. July, August. July and August are going to be huge. I think that some of you um, you need to be a little careful until then. Do what you can do if you still need to be in a situation to tolerate. I see you moving in July and August. I see you like really not being able to tolerate something by August. That's your cutoff, I feel. Yeah. Some of you, you may go into November with this. You may move in November. Clear on the sacral. You may move in November. This is about getting good quality sleep. It's about getting... Some of you, you live next to a train... A train railroad track. There's something that is disrupting your lifestyle. Something about a bagel. You're going to have to, like, talk about talk about this or even report this maybe there's something even illegal going on i see you having a resolution okay thank you for tuning in let's get into the next read something about a tip jar gemini's a tip or a tipping point boiling point again that could be tauruses okay gemini I mean the song. How long, how long the last lie? Separate me. Is it Red Hot Chili Peppers? Californication. I don't really listen to that band, but yeah, I, I'm hearing that right there really strongly. So maybe that's someone's someone's uh, favorite band or something like that. Okay. Someone's crying over you, Gemini. Did you know it? Let's return it. Return in the heart chart. This person crying over you. They're missing you. They want to touch you. They want to. They want to taste you. Oh my! They want to talk. They want to. They want to 
they want to tickle you. I don't know. Maybe you're like a kid. Um, maybe you're a kid. <laughs> maybe we'll say the opposite. You know, you're maybe watching this for a Gemini child. Maybe you're really missing them. Um, I see a red car. Someone really finds you very cute. Some of you, you went on a date with someone. They maybe play it off. Like, I'm seeing someone with like a brown suit and tie. Kind of like old school New York. Kind of a tire here. Um, light brown with a white underneath. Um, this person, like, you guys went on a date and he's acting like, I mean, you don't really see it, but he misses you. Okay, yeah, he really misses you. Um, when he's at work, he's thinking about you. He wants to, like, be with you again, hug you, um, hold you, kiss you again. I hear that. Patience, love, spell, divorce. Interesting. This is a very specific message. This person, um, they want to hold you. This person is very emotional about you. I see that they maybe even are, like, very focused on their work, their job. They're maybe even, like, a workaholic. Some of you, this person works a 9 to 5 or some kind of... They work in a com corporate building. Um, I'm seeing somewhere. It's very interesting. I don't know this place. I'm hearing somewhere, like, Kentucky, North Carolina. I'm seeing a building. It's kind of shady, and there's some willow trees around. It's, like, it almost looks like a school. Um, return to center, kind of throw chakra. Um... And I see him walking uh, through this area. It's like pillars, little pillars with windows. He sees, he sees, he sees you like everywhere he. He's wor He's worried even about you. It's like, where is he? Lie liar. Patience, love, spell, divorce. This person, they have a calm demeanor. They have a very calm energy. They give me Taurus. I see him in this brown suit. It's just a clear, clear vision there. Light brown, like a hound's tooth. Um, you know, a mute sort of mauve even tone um with this white shirt underneath it's like it looks like a suit um and i just see him walking i see he I, he may be a light 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 african um uh, skin tone african-american maybe yeah it's skin tone is what i hear but i mean he could be really anything but yeah some of you i'm getting someone in like new york it's very interesting old school new york like um it could be a past life as well we have caution just return the energy yeah, it's like this very, in particular, scene. I don't know. I think maybe he's walking somewhere. It looks like some kind of, again, I'll repeat, building with um, even maybe steps or stairs and, like, these pillars and, like, windows. It's kind of shady. It's very long. Um, it could be kind of, like, cool and breezy. I'm really getting something, like, from the 1900s. Um, and I'm here in 1985, specifically. Okay, someone here. I don't know now. Maybe you... I don't know what that's about for everybody. But, yeah, he's... Um, return. He's kind of, like... Um, oh, my goodness. He's very kind of, like, sad missing you. you yeah, he really misses you, you guys. That's what I get. Um, he, yeah, he maybe hasn't seen you. Um, I'm getting like this sort of like melancholy, a little bit like melancholy energy or even like a bit of like a, the, you know, the moment when it's like, I just want to be with them all the time kind of energy. Like I miss them. I want to go back to them or like, um, we were just hanging out and like, then we separate and it's like, I miss them. I'm getting something really old school or maybe this person just dresses old school or like they are kind of maybe more traditional concert just kind of hard chakra he's at like a school or something or he's like a principal i'm getting school principal over here yeah he's but he's walking it's like there's a lot of nature around him next to this building whatever this building is uh -huh. it's like a low building it's almost even like looks like a monastery or something uh, where is he is something very specific he's giving me pope he's giving me um it it, it looks a little bit like that He's walking in this, like, um, mm -hmm. I'm here in church area, church. He's, like, wanting to be with you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You need to know this, yeah. He's giving me very ma masculine energy, like, um, a little bit Matrix Man energy. Okay, so let's get further. Like, he's living in his, you know, in his... He knows that you're outside the Matrix, and he wants to be with you. yeah. That's for some. Like, he needs to be, like, maybe not in this situation. <sighs> some of you, there's something medieval here. He lives in the medieval. Your eyes, it says, on Guardian. Yeah, he's sad, guys. Like, when he's, um... Something is feeling outdated and, like, maybe even possibly, uh... It's like he knows... That he's like, I don't want to be here. I want to be with her. <laughs> Something about a shipping yard. 
I see him walking along this esplanade, and then he is looking down. I just return it. He's sad, guys. Let go. Manifest guardian? Liar? Like, I don't think he's really open to, like, the manifestation thing. Like, he's not thinking, I'm going to manifest this. It's like he feels somber. He feels like, I guess I'm never going to see her again. That's what I'm hearing? Hmm. Baby, I'm ready for you. Maybe he's waiting. F Let's go and say, what player? He doesn't know, like, will this ever work again? It's like, you were really fun. You brought his his years his years down in age. I don't know. Maybe you um you were much younger or you brought this live this this life to his li life. <laughs> you brought this live what? You brought this li li liveliness to his life. Return it. Marry me on your time in reverse. You guys um Guys, what happened here with this person? Do we know who this is? If you do, can you hit the like button or comment as well. Time to time to say good. I just feel he defeated. He feels defeated. Like this place he's walking. He's just looking down like I miss her. I just keep hearing that. Holy shit. They're like obsessed, y'all. They are. They are. He remembers little things like when he was feeding you. He. This guy really enjoys your presence. That's what I'm getting that... He really likes you, you guys. Like, I, I mean, who doesn't, though? Y'all Gemini, right? He, he was happy with you. F.S. L. It's like that person you meet, like, when you're they're gone. It's like, I don't like this anymore. It's like <laughs> something like that. They feel kind of like they got to go back to their matrix now. It's like, I'll see you later. It's like, they just return. He's really in... I don't know why that's such an important vibe right there. That, that him walking next to that building, like, with his head held down. He's very... Some of you, he's very depressed. Here, she was, like, the apple of my eye. She was the light of my life. Something about a perch. It's like, I feel he wants to go sit under the tree and, like... He's not thinking about how to get back to you, though. He's just kind of... Right now, he's in the energy of she's gone. So, we spelled noob. Like, you guys just had a great date. And then he had to go back to his work. It can be... I'm hearing something about coleslaw. He thinks you're really funny. He was laughing a lot. And then you left. And it's like the ball stopped bouncing. Um, we have FSL. Some of you, this person speaks another language. Amirin Fasal. I don't know what that means. He maybe is Cuban. Return it. Cuban or... Some of you, some of you are Hawaii, Hawaiian. He is a heavy energy, this person. Um, like, you made him feel everything is possible. We have bon, like in French. C'est bon. B-O-N. Très bien. Bon. Like very well. Is that it? God, I took one semester. One semester of French. Okay, FSL. It's like some of you. He even wants to cry. Anyways, SF can be. Yeah, he's kind of depressed. Like nothing feels fun to him. Like God, it's like when you go to a restaurant with someone, you have a great time, and then when they leave, then you go to the restaurant alone. And it's like it's not the same. Like it's a little bit sad and nostalgic. It's nostalgic. Return it. <laughs> He feels like you left him a little bit. It's like, yeah, I'm just clear. Something about orange. Yeah, there's just, I just can't shake this vision of this person. He, they're looking down. It's like, when you know when you're walking and you're looking down, he looks kind of um, focused and like sad. Like he feels there's nothing that can be, there's nothing like to look forward to without you kind of thing. He's thinking about how much fun you guys had. It's like he's worried even a little bit. What is he worried about? Let's see. Maybe he doesn't see you anymore, you know? His life isn't the same. It's like he feels as hopeless. Like, he feels that he'll never see you. There's no possibility that he would see you there. Maybe you just left. Like, you visited him and you left. And it's like... It says, LOL, who are you? He's looking back on all these times. Oh, my God. You know the energy, you guys? The music video, Hello by Adele. That guy, yeah, the guy in the music video. I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody kind of like that. So he, this person could be wearing like a brown, something brown, maybe even like a brown leather jacket or like it's a suit and tie. Um, 
Some of you, some of the radio. He feels like the... I don't know. I, okay, he's trying to say something really specific to you here. He's feeling like he doesn't know how this could ever come back together. He's stuck in this, like... Like, he's watching this one movie scene, and it's like, it's the sad one. He doesn't... He's really taken by this. It says, I'm hot for you, your eyes. He feels like he could have been together, and then... And then maybe he left. It's like, man, why did I leave, like... I, I was having a great time with her. Anyways, it says, I want to fuck you. Oh, my God. Whoa. I just read that off. Okay, it says, I'm hot for you. Your eyes, Ella, who are you? Yeah, you guys, you, there's a nostalgic. You're looking back on these times. You had so much fun. And it's like, now, like, this is not fun anymore. This is not fair, even. Fun, like, flirty, like... But he's not... I don't know what this vibe is that he feels there's no potential for him to be able to, like, fix that. He just feels like he's just in this frame stuck. He's, like, feeling stuck. It says you're cute. Or it's, like, really impacting him. Just... It's really affecting him. I mean, Rin, maybe I'll, like, figure out a way. Whip it, whip it, you're cute. I want... He feels like maybe you all are, can't talk anymore. I mean, what happened? <sighs> I'm into you like that? Hmm. Just return the crown. Moving? Maybe someone moved away? Hmm. It's very nostalgic. It's not, like, figured out yet, maybe even it's in the middle of nowhere. Maybe he hasn't heard back from you. He's kind of sad. If you're dating someone and, like, he's waiting for you to text back, it's like, he's at his work. Nothing is fun. Like, you're the highlight of his day. Co-op circles, 27 messages, curiosity signs. Yeah, he's kind of looking around. Maybe that, maybe that's her. Maybe that means that. He's always looking at his phone. Maybe she's just texting me. It's like, okay. Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to cry. Like, this is kind of sad. We're on Gemini right now, by the way. I feel he's very bored at work. He's sitting in like, someone's giving a speech. He's sitting there listening and it's just, uh, I'm hearing this is not for me. This is not my vibe. It's like, it's one of those moments, like, you momentarily took him out of the Matrix, and then it's like, ugh, everything's now compared to that. I'm hearing, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you, that song. Yeah, it's nostalgic. It's like, see you later. It's like, you guys had a lot. When you guys said bye, then everything, like, changed. Like, his vibration. It's like, he went back down into this, like, Maybe depressive energy, even. I am hearing something like that. I see him in this sad place. Like, he's walking next to these pillars. What is this? <laughs> it almost feels like a cemetery. It's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's a little bit... Um, and there are like trees here, willow trees or something. It's giving me school, like a school, just return it. A school campus or something. And there's like, yeah, something like that. Windows, dark windows and like it's dark and shady and he's walking, it's very depressing. I don't know, to him maybe or however, anyways. His, but it's like, ugh, just click, oh my God, you're in. I hate this. Like, I miss her. Pets. Water sign. Some of you, he's maybe crying even, you know. what's what, Whatever the extent is. I'm seeing something about music. Maybe he feels, like, enslaved here. It's like, God, I don't like this. It's like, I don't have to... I don't even have to do this, but I am. Maybe he even pushed you away. Can I get some tarot spirit on that? Like, what's happening with these two? What happened here? Justice? He's waiting for... Oh, he wants... Any minute, any time now. It's like, any minute now he's going to hit you up. But he's waiting for you. Maybe he doesn't have your phone number or something. Or, like, he's waiting for you to hit him up. The Emperor in reverse, guys. It's like he needs you. The sun upright. Like, he's kind of maybe addicted or obsessed to you. So, with you. Like, it's like the sun... It's like when it's... Ain't no sunshine where she's gone. Bow, bow. Yeah. Return it. He's always checking his phone. I'm here in. I can't wait to like see her again. I'm here in that. Aw. He's like living for this moment. Do they know what this is about? 
he's like happy with you. Yeah. I'm hearing some about the platoons. Maybe he's in the army. It's kind of that what that's giving me. It's like he looks like he's realizing he's kind of in like a matrix of sorts. Return to the heart chakra. I'm hearing some of you about Fight Club. I'm hearing, because I can't fight this feeling anymore. But he's singing it sadly. Like, he's looking down. I can't fight this, like, feeling anymore. Like, she was, like, beautiful. I'm hearing that. Um, hmm. Yeah, you were very... Hmm. But I just don't know. I keep seeing this sadness. Gambling. Like, you were good for him. It's like, she she got me out of, the, like, that frame of mind. Why did you guys separate? We have no give a time. I think maybe someone's spirit team, like, maybe you... This could be someone that you met, like, many years ago, even. Um, he hasn't forgotten you. Maybe you're wondering how he's doing after all these years, or she that... Yeah, but I'm seeing a masculine, like... I'm hearing Tom. Tommy. Tommy, like... He feels like you help him with his blackheads kind of vibe. It's like he felt crusty a bit. Oh my god, this is getting depressing. <laughs> he felt like crusty without your touch. With you, it's like he everything was better. Like with you, you could help him. Like he just felt very special around you. Like you touched him in ways that like no one did. It's like he's giving me lonely ogre a bit. Yeah. It's like, but automatically, right when you leave, then he goes right back into that energy. So, something about Florida. Like, you were his Miami. But he, if he's not with you, then he lives in, like, I'm here in Canada. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I've been to Canada. It's beautiful, but I don't know. It's, it's not Miami, right? <laughs> I've never been to Miami, though, so I don't know. It's like, he loved that conversation with you. It's like, you were talking about geography. and I don't know. Some of you, he's really depressed. It's like... Yeah, four cups. I'm, here, I'm a madman. Something about New York. It's like, he's just kind of... He's walking like hump... Hump... Hump diddy dump diddy. I'm here at Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, it's like he doesn't see anything anymore. It's like, I loved her. She was the one for me. It's like, he's just walking around like remembering that telling that to himself like he's this is the person you can tell they're like heartbroken a bit like i'm seeing something i am seeing somewhere in new york um i don't know if you guys know this place but for those of you who are new yorkers but something about hugh kitchen i'm seeing hugh kitchen h-u kitchen like he's maybe thinking about you a lot it's like wherever he goes like he's like driven he's walking around like you're at the forefront of his mind with that I hope we can talk again. It's like, what is it I hear? Cause nothing compares to you. It's like you took him real high up. High above me. She's so lovely. She's so high. High. Like Cleo said, trust on a mountain. Maybe he has a boring life. Return it to sender. Return it to sender. Re just clear the energy. Okay, is that better, Dole? Uh, I mean, very nostalgic. I remember, like, when we were, like, hanging out, like, there. This is, like, me. This is me. Oh, my God. I am very nostalgic. The littlest of things. You know, hold on to receipts, hold on to, um, shoot, 
um, stickers that don't stick anymore. It's a memory, you know. Well, yeah, he's going to, like, I don't know, he works at, like, the post office or something? He's somewhere dark and cold and 9 to 5. It's something that just... I miss that girl. I'm hearing that. Okay. Yeah, he's feeling old without your touch. I remember when she used to massage my trapezoids. <sighs> yeah. She was really, like, the most fire in my life. And he's maybe almost a little angry. Maybe a little bit, like, um, now he's kind of cynical about everything in life. I'm hearing Felicia. I'm hearing fire burning on the dance floor. Whoa. Gotta cool her down. Yeah, like, maybe you dance with this person. Just go ahead and say, well. You guys used to... I see you took maybe, like, an older man. Maybe he's older than you. Like, you, you did all this, like, um... Felicia by kind of stuff like you were funny flirty fun and like you took him to like some kind of I don't know Miami my you took you took him to a Miami festival or something and then now it's like now he has to go back to the monastery or something like that I don't know you guys it's very specific someone's a Sagittarius hi Bob yeah yeah call me tell me now well, what do we need to do it's like he feels he works in in the army something like this like and he's not it's not for him so mm -hmm. he has tension at work what is she doing right now about you she's in miami having fun like maybe finding another guy like i don't know he feels like he wants to be your man guys he wants to be the one that like he feels he's losing time as well though like Shoot, like, I'm at work, I'm stuck at work, and she's, like, out there. Maybe, like, she's gonna find someone. I don't know what. Maybe it's a metaphor, you know? Return it. Re just return it. He thinks he's a little square, maybe, for you. What would she do with me anyways? Um, you know, just square, and she's, like, she's pyramid. What do I do? What do I do? It's, like, he needs you to, like, maybe make him not square. It's, like, she she was helping me, like, like, like get out of this square that I've become this monster I've become is it a song something about a lion monster I'm hearing an Evanescence song yeah he's sitting there at his lunch hour like seems like you had a very profound impact on him I'm seeing something about grapes he feels bored in his life so hi Alex Angel you want to come up here Like, he just eats boring stuff. Like, unless it's with you, then y'all eat, like, fun. Like, some... <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you're the life of his life. Possibly a bit codependent, yeah. Maybe a bit codependent. So... Okay. It's a Gemini. It's not surprising, Gemini, you know, you have a very infectious energy about you. You're, you're childlike, playful, you're lively, you got this livelihood about you. What kind of energy? Hi, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Maybe you guys were doing risky, fun stuff. You felt like a kid again. Like, you were, like, joking with him and telling him to push on the gas on the car, and he was laughing. I don't know. Something is very simple and nostalgic and yet, like, very powerful and profound. And you really had a huge impact on this man's life. And it's like he's feeling like he's ready for it to end now. God, he feels like he's just going to get old without you now. What? I'm hearing that song, Hold Me While You Wait. So hold me while you wait. Dun, 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 I'm hearing, and uh, I will always love you. And I will always love you. Yeah, he's with he, he, he this man listening to Whitney Houston. Like he's with listening to Whitney over you and your old breakup. Oh, did you break up? Maybe you broke up. Something about fast. 
Like, you guys were listening to Fun Sci- Listen, you changed his vibe, I think. And then after, like, then he started- He didn't want to listen to those, those fun songs anymore unless it was with you. It's like, no, nah, I only want to listen to that, like, with her. Then after you got out of his car, he started listening to these sad songs. Um, something about Fast Car Tracy Chapman. Then he went- I uh, tell you again, he went down to that slump again. Um, just like, um, what is that song? Englishman in New York? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of maybe boring, he feels. I'm um, stale. He thinks he's stale and crusty without you. And you're this juicy fruit. Something about Miami again, I just keep hearing that. Anyways, you guys, so. <sighs> oh, baby, hello. He feels you brought the light into his life. Aww. He, he came back into color. He was like black and white without you. That's it. I don't know what to do. I'm just... <laughs> an Englishman in New York, you know? I don't know what, what... I'll just accept it now. I just gotta go to my 9 to 5 and just be, you know, an Englishman in New York. I don't know, like, what, maybe he's even loathing himself. It sounds like he may have to work on self-confidence, yeah. Like, you came and, like, you chapped... It. You gave him some nice lip gloss for his chap lips. You popped his black heads for him. Like, you brought Venus back into this man's life, possibly. Maybe he was feeling kind of sad. Yeah. You guys went dancing or something? He was, like, exhilarated. So now let's get further. He's nostalgic about you. She always used to tell me, like, when my breath smelled like paint. I don't know. <laughs> oh man okay we got the nine of cups uh does he have like maybe an addiction i mean i don't know what that's about but yeah paint he's eating paint i don't know what that's about y'all maybe you guys teased each other i really feel actually you're quite compatible like i don't feel like this is imbalanced karmically but i do think this person maybe maybe the reason why you separated partly is because you know uh this person maybe needed to really get back they need to inflate themselves a bit Otherwise, they would have been codependent. I don't think you saw that. I really don't think that... It, I don't think you felt the weight of that, per se. Maybe at least not in the moment. Maybe when you left, it's like, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Hi. I'm just an Englishman in New York. I don't know, I just keep hearing that. Maybe he even talks on the phone. He does um, telemarketing. He's something repetitive. He's very bored out of his mind, yeah. He does, like, maybe... Um, yeah, just okay. Just, just, okay. Return the sacral. You made him feel everything is possible, and then, and then he just whatever. He rode the roller coaster back down. And he just like slumped in the seat. Anyways, maybe you even motivated him a lot, and then when you left, like he it didn't stick with him. Possibly that can also be like, I needed her to like tell me I'm beautiful. It's like, huh? It's like he's like the beast, and you're the beauty. And like I really do feel y'all are, y'all are good for each other. I'm here when something about qua. Qu Squagmire? Quagmire? That came through recently? What is that? That's really cute, guys. Like, I think that you motivated him, whoever this is. Like, you inspire them. Like, when they're around you, it's like, they're, like, nice to other people even. But, like, otherwise, like, he doesn't, like, have that same passion for, for what he... Like, for instance, like, like, with other... I don't know. I think maybe other people notice this too. It's like, bro, like you're a different person now. What happened? Like you were really happy with her, like when she was here. Like he used to maybe be confident and like he would be running with you, and then what? Now he just walks slowly. That's what I hear. It's like people ask him, "Oh, you want that same smoothie with the juicy fruits?" Like it's like nah. It's like he doesn't want that unless it's with you. I repeat, like it only feels good when you're around. Like it has a different taste, you know. It's like. It's depressing a little bit, like, ah, I feel like maybe you left this guy somewhere. <sighs> like, maybe you came, you guys had fun, and then, like, he he loved that smoothie or something like that. It's <laughs> super specific. And then... Like, when you left, it's like, he doesn't... It's like he misses you. <laughs> He doesn't want, he can't enjoy that smoothie unless you're there. Like, it sounds like this is a theme energy. Like, it's actually about his state of mind. It's, it's about his sense of peace. 
is about his sense of root chakra groundedness. He's not like stable, he feels. Like he feels like you help stabilize him, but you also bring like happiness to him. It's like, he's kind of like, no, I don't want to just have the smoothie. I want to have it with you. I hear like that. Oh my God. <laughs> like, yeah, cause you guys, I think maybe you shared a very particular meal together. And he feels like he doesn't want to just, it's not about that thing. It's about it having it with you. Wow. <laughs> This really reminds me of me. Like, this is how I am, yeah. Like, if I, for instance, have a really good time with someone, then they leave, then I can't go back to that same, like, cafe or coffee shop. Like, it feels weird. Like, it feels sad a little bit. Even minutes after, I don't know if anyone, do y'all feel the same? Maybe it's a Pisces thing, but yeah. It's like, when you have a nice memory with someone somewhere, and then they leave, and it's like, then it feels, like, quiet there. Do you know what I, you know what I mean? It's sad. It's, it's sad. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a little bit, like, it's weird. So... Anyways, maybe this is, yeah, this person feels that way about you. It can be. So, yeah. Like, maybe even, like, I don't know, you introduced him to some restaurant, and then he was like, wow, I love this place. And then it's like, he doesn't want to go there, though. Like, you, maybe you're like, oh, did you end up going there? It's like, no. It's like, he even gets upset. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go there without, while well, she's not there. Like, it's something specific, this message. Okay. Now... He's not able to forget about you. Um, can I get here, like, what? Can I know more, like, how do we know who this is for the querent, please, spirit? Yeah, he used to smile with you, like, when you guys went to the coffee shop together. Just return it. Number 44. Yeah, he was really into maybe synchronicities and stuff, too. But then, like, when you left, like, he couldn't do it on his own. It's like... He was maybe seeing a lot of synchronicities when you were together. And you guys were, like, pointing synchronicities out. Oh, guys, like, he really enjoyed this time with you. Return it to my body. And then it's like... I don't know. Now, like... It's like he... You're his training wheels. Like, he, 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 yeah, he, he can't do it anymore. He's just gonna... The bike is just gonna sit there. And he's just not gonna ride it, so... Until you get back. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> All right, um, Taurus, it sounds like you have a lot of Aries, maybe, a lot of fire energy. You're very, very, you're very ardent. You have an ardent energy about you, assertive. Maybe you're not as nostalgic like that. You could be more fire air. It's like, all right, it's like you don't really, um, I don't, I'll say like this, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the opposite. I don't think this is uh, mutual, <laughs> like this feeling of like, at least nostalgia to that degree. Um, or maybe this person is more stationary in their life. Like maybe you were traveling, you visited them and then you're gone. It's like, this person feels stagnated a bit. All right. So yeah. Um, like they're tethered to some circumstance of sorts. Just, re just clear down the back. Yeah, maybe he's even in a bad mood. He leaves work early. Now he's actually, it's impacting his work ethic. Like you're in the back of his mind. I feel like he's also worried about something about you. It's like, what if she's like, maybe you went back to Florida. You live in Florida. It's like, he has all these things like running through his mind. Like what if she like sees like some other dude or something. And then I'm just going to be like sitting here. So he's, he's not at peace. He's not calm. I'm getting hot. That's it. Like, yeah, he wants to take the suit and tie off. Like, I gotta, like, yeah. He wants to maybe visit you. But somehow... Let's see. Where are there before? He's not... He's not, like, motivated or inspired, though, to, like, raise his vibration on his own, I feel. It's a very specific thing. Like, he wants to go with you. I want to go and, like, raise our vibe together. I hear like that. Aw, do you guys know what this is referring to? <laughs> Can you type 12? Why did that not work? He feels like, yeah, he's typing on a typewriter. Some, yeah, let me just return it. Okay. You used to tell him you like his outfit, and that meant the world to him. Then he would have a huge smile on his face and he'd go to work. It's like, he's suddenly like really nice to everybody at work. It's like, she, she said she liked my suit and tie. It's like. Yeah, you feel more confident maybe. Um, all right. 
It could be he didn't think this would impact him as much as it did. It's like he thought maybe, whoa, 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 Alex, hey, you don't jump with that, wait. Um, he's a parkour artist. <laughs> Just cleared on my said body. Um, yeah, but then it really did impact him. And he felt like when you left, like there was this emptiness, you know, some of the UK. Yeah. He's kind of grumpy even some. He's like going to work. He's grumpy. It's like, what's wrong, Adam? Whoa. It's like he was totally different after you left with everyone. He threw the papers on the desk. Some of he's like a lawyer. I don't know. He, maybe he used to like love his job. And then now it's like, you, you know, when someone comes in and they change your world a bit. It's like, nah, this doesn't excite me anymore. Like his, his heart is, you're, he's with you. You guys are connected still, it seems. Like you maybe never disconnected and like. He can't just jump back into his life, you know? Anyways. Okay, Gemini, you know? It seems like you had a profound impact on someone here. You, maybe you speak different languages. You were interesting and exciting and different. I'm here in Bon. C'est bon, again. Maybe French. Like, I see you laughing a lot. You're very Gemini. You probably have, like, at least, like... Some of you, we have, like, four or five planets in Gemini. Like, you're just literally, like, a little chipmunk. <laughs> okay. You're just, like, chipper and happy and happy-go-lucky. And, like, he feels like everything is good with you. Like... I don't have to think about these, like, big issues in my life. Like, some of you, he's kind of upset or angry, even. This shift really maybe disrupted him a bit. Like, man, she took me so high, and now I'm, like, low. I don't know. Something like that. Not that it's your problem. And hence why probably you're separated. Because, well, I mean, it's not your job to, like, keep someone, right, in, in, the, green, in the green zone. I think that maybe it was a little bit different. Like, maybe you came through and, like, you made him really happy, though. Something about Canadian... He's thinking maybe maybe he's not really risky by nature. He's like maybe I should just do that risky thing and meet her in the meet her in the Bahamas. It's like what? I mean we're in Cabana. Maybe I should just no, but he wouldn't, guys. He's way too like um. I think he's very Capricorn. He's very responsible, you know. Type we have Earth sign. Maybe I can like work from a remote location. No, damn. He's like stuck in his work. Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Bon, bon, bon. Da 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 she's away. I feel like he wrote that song, like, for for this person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kind of, the person I'm seeing kind of looks like the singer as well of the song. Who sings that? Anyway, Spy. Spy. Yeah, he's looking at your social media. That's the closest thing. Like, he loves his, the highlight of his day is going to social media world and Googling you up. From head to toe, like, that's his favorite time. Like, when he's in his 9 to 5 in his little cubicle, indoors, in the darkness, in the cold AC room, he is, yeah, all over your social media. So that's, like, the highlight of his life, just so you know. Okay, communicate. Yeah, he's always reading maybe through your text messages, looking back at all the information. So, all the information. Yeah, people checking up on him. So you doing the work? Just for clear. He's maybe worried them. Yeah, he's very studious or, like, responsible. It's like... I gotta do this, but yeah. If I if I look too long at her social media, then my my boss is gonna get upset at me. They'll be back. Something about um, USPS intimacy. There, he keeps reminiscing on your kiss, the way you kissed him, the way you guys had ki kiss that night, especially that day. It's like he maybe even has some pictures of you. You know, like some of you. Wow. He was thinking of maybe proposing to you. Oh my goodness. Oh. He was thinking of proposing to you. Like, he was imagining, like, how he would do it and then what you would say. I mean, there are two options, right? So, <laughs> how do I... He was getting excited. How do I, like... He was imagining, like, what how he could propose to you, like, with the, with the highest likelihood that you would say yes. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe it's a metaphor. But yeah, some of you, I, I see that... He's hoping that maybe you would be back. I don't know, like, who are you? Maybe, okay, like, he's more stationary. Maybe you're, like, always on the run. I see some of you, you're, you maybe were in his town for some time. We have commitment. Yeah, he wants to commit to you. He's thinking of, like, how to do that. Uh, Mercury retrograde pregnancy. He was imagining you pregnant even for some of you. Like, he was thinking about all these little, you know, the person who makes your mind just, like, wander. It's, like, fantasy. Like, oh, my God, then what if, you know, what if like this and then he really likes you clearly you know 
Um, this is someone who, yeah, I see a lot of emotion here. We have water sign. They'll be back. Like you touched this person in a way that, oh my God, you know, I don't think, you know, can I see a little bit on this Gemini? Who's this Gemini? Who's the person traveling around? Something about tiger, you have tiger stripes. Or like, there's something like that vibe. Like you're sort of like, um, your sexuality, you have a strong Mars and Venus energy here. I think you have a lot of um, Venus in general in your chart. And I think you have a very strong Mars as well. I think you're more on Aries, Gemini. You're more on Aries. Yeah, when you leave the room, it's felt. Okay, people felt when you were in the room, they miss you. Like, even strangers, y'all. Like, some of your vibration is so high. When you come into the, even in the elevator, when you leave, people are sad. It's like, they want to follow you. I hear like that. It's like they like your energy. Some of you have, like, a mama bird energy even about you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he, he likes your energy. He wants to run after you. But it's like, then he realized he's in the Matrix. So, yeah, that's for someone. Very specific. Love spell sexuality. You're very, very sexy mm -hmm, as well. Air sign. Oh, my God. Some of you, you, his mind wanders. Like, he thinks about you, all the possibilities, and the things you do. I'm a fool for you. Zane. You have people wanting to get better, okay? Yeah, you have people wanting to get better, wanting to self-improve, wanting to glow up for you. So that, And it's exciting for them. But then it's like when you left, then it's like, then there's no hope for that he felt, yeah? It's like, yeah. Some of you, you also kind of look at a heartbreaker type, a person, potentially. Some of you, was, he loves talking about you to his friends. He absolutely adores, like, gossiping about you in a good way, in a good way. Like, he likes to talk the stories over. He loves, like, his friends who um, don't complain about how long he's talking about you. I heard, like, that doesn't sound He loves hanging out with those people. Just saying. Mirren, she's not, like, she's not a heartbreaker. She just robbed my heart. She's a robber. She robbed my heart. Yeah, she's a bandit to the... I mean, we're total eclipse in the heart. Just return in the heart chakra sequel. I think this person does need to work on their self-love, though. Really, um, we have fire sign. This person maybe got obsessed about you, you know? Oh my god, like, she's everything, you know? Um, or he. But I feel a she. I do see a she. So let's get further um, from what I can see. You know... Spirit, um, can I get a little bit on more on this Gemini character, please, Spirit? You also turn him on um, physically. So it sounds like he's getting a lot of stimulation, a lot of dopamine, okay? <laughs> From a lot of angles here, okay? Like, you really... You're really raising his vibration. The voltage was high when you guys were hanging out and whatever and whatnot. Like, maybe you didn't know that. You didn't see that. But, yeah, you, like, made him feel. It's like you turned him right side up. Maybe he was really in a bad place when you first met him. Maybe you didn't know that. Um, but, yeah, he was kind of, like, uh, I'm here. And he was, he was kind of, like, um, lopsided. Okay? He felt like he was kind of um, out of alignment or out of balance in some way. And, like, you reminded him, okay, of his greatness. I hear that. Okay? For some of you here with the Emperor Card Gemini. Like, I'm looking at these lights in the backdrop you know you sort of sprinkled pixie dots in his aura and he was feeling that okay yes isaac just just clear it i'm here on return it then he was getting ahead of himself and then he felt kind of maybe even silly it's like never mind like there she goes there she goes <laughs> There she goes again, racing down my lane. Is that how it goes? And I just can't contain this feeling I lay. Da, 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 da. There she goes. Whew. There she goes again. Is that from The Parent Trap? Racing through my brain. <laughs> and I, some of a Victorian. Oh. You're giving me, who I think this is you, Aries Gemini. You're like war, war nurse. You're like the nurse. He's like the soldier. You're the nurse. It's like he gave you that soldier kiss in New York Times Square, whatever that picture is. And like, oh. He's imagining having another shot with you with the two of cops. So, damn, where's this guy? Where's it headed to? What's happening here? He was feeling beautiful. That's what I hear. 
Mirren, yeah, I like this. I could do this for, for a long time. Aww. You did Reiki on him, I think. Um, whether or not you realize that. Let's get here a little bit more. I see a boat. Maybe he even has, like, a beautiful house or something. And it meant more when you were there. It's like, then he's alone in this house and it's, like, sad. Okay, so let's get further. You know what I mean? Just return it. You maybe prove to him, like... You know, relationships don't have to be encumbersome. Maybe he proved to himself at a certain point, oh, no, yeah, being single is better, or not being with someone is better, but no. Let's see here. I'm seeing fireflies. Like, you guys were walking together in the darkness of the night, and, like, it was so magical, that little moment. Like, he never had a moment like that with anybody else. Guys, he's going crazy, okay? Some of you crazy, like, I mean, going crazy, 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 just thinking about you, baby. He's going crazy, like, stalking your social media. He's thinking about popping up for, like, to surprise you for an event. Magician. Let's see here. And then I feel he slumped back into this depression energy. Some of you, he's he has some sneakers on. I don't know. He doesn't care anymore. Like, after you left, he doesn't care about his, his attire anymore. Anyways. Oh, my God. Okay. What's happening with these people? Can I get a card, Spirit, for the rest of this year? Oh, man. It's like when you're at someone's... Or someone, let's just say like this. Like someone came to your house and then they leave and like their energy is still there and you feel them, but it's like they're not there. And so it's like, it's almost... A, oh my God, I see these huge two birds. It can be that they keep seeing synchronicities about you as well. I mean, they're having dreams of you too. As Yeah. Maybe you two together, but like you also, maybe you're also... or No, they feel... They have dreams of you and they're seeing signs in like the 3D. Guys, this person, um, they're going to come through. The Ace of Swords. It's about communication. Maybe you guys hooked up and, like, he's now just following you on social media, but he didn't say anything. He's going to talk. He's going to open up. April, May, June, July, August, September. Uh, September. This person and you are going to have a new beginning in September. Okay? Um, I think that, Can I see a little bit more, like, what's going to trigger that? Something about music. He maybe even wrote a song for you. He's going to... He's going to send it to you. It says, Am I Your Type? With a hermit. Like, he's afraid to ask you if, like, he, if you think that you guys are a match. Some of you, there's somebody about a, f um, a phone number. He wants to get your phone number. Or, like, he wants to talk on the phone with you. It says, I want to fuck you. Oh, my God. But he doesn't know, like, what angle to come out with you. About something. That's what I got. Thank you, Gemini. Um, <laughs> try to brace yourself. I don't know for this. I mean, like, through the next few months. Like, this person is definitely coming through for you. They're going to come out of the woodwork is what I get as well. Can I get a quick um, top-down deacon spread? Three uh, deacons, please, for us spirit. The lovers, yeah. This is a reading of you don't know that someone sees you as the one, okay? Um, mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't see it. Like, you don't realize the impact you have on people, how happy you make them, Gemini, as well. You need to know that you're really, really seen, you're really felt, and you're very appreciated, okay? Yeah, so you have a lot. This person yearning for you, okay? Return it to sender, clear it. Yeah, this person going through something right now, they maybe have to leave their job. Like, they won't be able to be with you if they're in this job space, and they're just like, I gotta get to get these clothes off. I don't know, I just keep seeing this suit. It's so heavy on them. Lord, return it. In the meantime, you're getting really hot. You're looking very hot, Gemini, by the way, with the Queen of Wands. I see you, like, looking really good, glowing up. Like, you're just getting hotter and hotter. Looking better and better, okay? Uh, yep, I, by the day. And, like, it is kind of giving him anxiety. It's like, shit, she's glowing up. It's almost like you both have to, like, you're racing to, like, be together. And, like, uh, he feels like, what if she, like, yeah, he it, uh, he has a little fear, you know? What if, like, by the time I'm ready, then she's got a man, you know? Some other son. All right, this is divine. You guys are going to be together, I feel. This is your person for some of you. I see streamers in the air. I see you wearing one of those um, girdles. Is it called a girdle? With, um... Like, the strap on your on your leg. It's like lingerie. Anyways, the one that they wear the night of the... Uh, what do they call it? The honeymoon? Yeah. Anyways. Okay, let's get to the next read. It's going to be a little bit like... Oh, yeah, that's not... That wasn't a big issue. Um, cancer. Okay. Someone um, is a little bit, like, triggered by you. You're, you're in, like, a silent competition with someone cancer. Some of you, this is a sibling or someone close to you who you see very often, gold digger. So, 
they're like comparing themselves to you, like how much you guys are making. What is it, Isaac? Booby, no. That's not good for you. You have your food food. This person is like gonna reveal just how jealous they are. Watch, just watch for it, Cancer. It's coming. Mercury retrograde in reverse. They're gonna expose like their jealousy. Um, it's about finances. Maybe you even have a really rich partner, and like they're gonna just expose their jealousy. I'm telling you. It's like something. Um... I'm going to get orange juice really, really quickly. Someone here is, like, kind of weird, you know? Um, they're, like, your friend in quotes, um, but they're very competitive with you, and it's not a good look. Well, it's going to be really clear and obvious and very awkward in, like, uh, a, a bit of time, really soon. Oh, I'm hearing a song here. I know you loved it, but it's over, mate. Put the phone away. Yeah. I'm going to be all right. Nothing but a little time. Bottoms up. Let's forget the night. Some other. The name of the song is It'll Be All Right. Return it. I'm rewinding the tape to us. Someone is like observing you it can be that um it's you and your part your partner huh you're realizing in subtle ways like maybe they're talking to you too much too often about your person it's like why are you asking me so many questions about him i'm hearing that it's like oh yeah and then why and it's like okay bro like this person is maybe sees that you have a great relationship with someone or like they're financially well off or something or I'm hearing BK. I'm hearing Brooklyn. It's like, oh, that's nice. It's like they're asking you questions that then it's just going to make them feel jealous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something about a... I see you. Yeah. You have to separate yourself from this person, I feel. Something about Jeep. It's like, oh, that's nice. Then what did you eat? Oh, then what did you do? It's like, oh, okay. Gotta go now. Yeah. Just reach just clear. Uh, yeah. Actually, I got a call. I got to pick up. Like, maybe they're talking too much. It's like, it's not normal. It's not like, hey, how are you doing? Great. Oh, fun. Nice. Oh, that's nice. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm good, too. It's like all pointed. It's like they're very overly focused and pointed on you with this um, energy. It's really kind of awkward and, like, inappropriate and kind of obvious. Like, they're competing with you. It's like they want to know about your life so they can compete with you. Do you see the energy? It's not, like, just catching up. Um... Man, I want another orange. <laughs> Give me a second. Tangerine, actually. Maybe like Clementine. It's like, that's too specific. Like, this person wants to know every little crevice and detail about your life with this person. It's like, so what did you guys eat? Oh, I see. Was it a four or five star hotel? You see? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. It's like, none of your fucking business. I'm seeing nachos. Nacho business. Is it? Am I mistaken? No, I don't think so. I think it's my business and it's none of yours right now, okay? Especially, like, in a safe world. Like, me and you didn't even really talk that long, like, already, and you're already talking about my personal life. Like, maybe this person's so obsessed with you, even. <laughs> you could have maybe, like, reconnected with this person, you know, talked for a bit, and they're already getting all back into your private life. It's like, okay, step away now. In the sake world, return it. It's 
something about an airplane. Something gonna start feeling really uncomfortable around this person. It's something about a birthday party or an event. It's like, okay, I think I'm not gonna go or I gotta have separation, distance. Mm. Oh my God, this card, give it time. Makes me think of that song. Maybe they heard that you had a really romantic time with someone. Someone also saw you in the um, tabloids. That's for someone. It's like, oh, I saw you. Yeah, you're with that guy. Wow, his car. It's like, okay, this is yeah, this is not what I want to be want to uh, what I want to be talking about. It's making you feel weird. We have player on gold digger. Some of you, you know, they're just competing with your man. Maybe they have a man too, and like. They want to compare. Oh, I see. He got you what kind of watch or ring? Nice. And then they're going to go look at their own just right there. Oh, I see. Like, does it really shimmer? It's like they have their ha their ring and their your ring. And they're having this is disgusting. Uh, Jade, you have to wait. You have to wait, doll. Oh, I see. What kind of perfume? Oh, oh, oh. I, I see. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The more expensive one. Oh, I, it's like in the back of their mind they're calculating. He got me like the the yeah the lower quality one. I don't know. They're very competitive with you. Did you? I don't know if you know, but I think you're gonna know. <laughs> this is money on my mind player on the gold digger card. Some of you, I mean, if you're dating, if this sounds like someone you're dating, you just start dating them and they're asking a lot of questions about like your credit score, and along those lines, that type of thing. You need to be careful. This person maybe yeah they're for your money. You need to be aware. Um, something about a car, like, they're just liking the feel of your car too much. Like, you can tell they're, like, maybe even treating you differently when they see your car. It's like, whoa, calm down. Okay. Interior leather. You, you need to be looking at what's in, on the inside of me right now. Okay, my, my soul. Not, they're getting way excited. Like, oh, my God, I love this interior of this car. Oh, my God, it's my favorite color. It's like, okay, this is not, like, you just met me. You know what I'm saying? Like, their mind is somewhere else. And I think, like, some of you are going to see that with this person. It's like... Why are you treating me so nicely now that you see I'm like, uh, ex yeah, I'm getting you expensive jewelry even, wine, French cheese. It's like, maybe it's a test. Maybe you're like, I want to see how, how their behavior changes, you know? It's like, I'm going to, I'll bring the, the big boys out. At first, I'm going to act like I'm maybe not wealthy and I want to see how you're treating me if you've got a wandering eye on the date. And then I'm going to bring, um, yeah, then I'm going to bring a different uh tab out you know it's like what i mean what happened to you you're a different person suddenly maybe some of you you saw it and then you even pointed it out you're like look at you you're treating me differently you know and then you're like all right I'm, now i'm gonna bounce and then this person is like hey no don't leave that's making me think of that one youtuber we mentioned this before where He's hitting on her, which I don't agree with the premise of this show. I think, honestly, it's got a few red flags. And I think, honestly, like, people should not be encouraged. I'm seeing an evil eye here. People shouldn't be encouraged by this show to, like, uh, let strangers in and shit and be open-minded. Because it's honestly dangerous. Like, this guy just approach. He's a YouTuber. He approaches these so-called girls. These girls walking down. Maybe it's even scripted, whatever. But still, it doesn't. I don't think it sends the right image out. Like, oh, you're a gold digger if you, like, push him away at first. But anyways, um, until you see he's got an expensive car or something. Anyways, these girls are walking. Um, and all of them got, like, big booty. But anyway, so they're all walking. And then this guy is walking up to them. And he's like, hey, like, he approaches them on the sidewalk. I don't know about you, but I think that's very sketchy. Um, and they're just like, oh, well, yeah, I actually have to go. So most of them, you know, they don't give their phone number out. He's like, you seem like a really nice person. Like, you want to connect? It's like, you just cross the street and ask for my phone number i gotta go no i'm not gonna give you my phone number and that, i think that makes sense then they all show like him walking oh he's like okay no problem he walks back to his car which is like a lambo or something and then the girl like turns around it's just i don't know it feels very scripted like it says i like feet pics anyways playboy in reverse like his he changed his word up then suddenly they walk over and they're like oh damn i didn't know this you know Okay, <laughs> so, but then it's also, like, I feel wrong, because then it's, like, the girls who are not so-called gold, are so-called based on that, it's, like, they get in the car, and then, like, you can tell some of them falling in love with him a bit, and it's, like, and then she, they kind of get heartbroken when he's, like, oh, it was just a prank, and I don't know, that show, something about it, anyways, okay, so it says you're cute, 
religion is a factor in his or her lifestyle. It's like, oh yeah, that was a huge issue for you. You said back there. Then you saw that I'm like really wealthy. And you're like, oh, actually, yeah, I don't really celebrate though. Those holidays is not a big deal. It's like, oh really? Oh okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Some of you need to. I think you probably, yeah, you know, like if you're pretty bloated, you know, not to go around flashing that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to, you don't have to like show up with a padlock that you got on your wallet and show like, in the first day, you know, that's just not, that's just not, that's just not the kind of moves we want to make on the first day. Maybe at first you were like hoping that someone wasn't going to be a gold digger and maybe you got burned and then you're like, okay, I don't do that now. I don't, yeah, I don't need to show them like everything that I got. So it says, what about your family? I'm hot for you. Maybe even like shoot some of you got really burned. You know, you show up to the date on a bus, you know, you, you maybe have a very expensive car. You're like, I want to know like, what kind of person is this? Right? Like what? Um, uh, yeah, so, so, there's something going on with that. I see someone literally getting off of a bus. It usually does go as well. I mean, like, not across the board, but, like, um, yeah, I mean, people who really, really got money, like, I'm not talking, like, on credit and shit, you know, like, who really want to have the image of, like, a, a lucrative lifestyle. They want, um, they want to flash it around, but people who really got well, like, they don't, they don't really want, um, they don't usually, you know, they know the power of the dollar as well, and they make that money themselves, and they know how, it's not about this whole image, you know, of it. Sometimes that's the case. So, some, so something here, you know, you're like, I don't want to be this flashy ass over here person who's just kind of, you know, from both angles. Okay, anyways, maybe you feel like you, yeah, this person, I think even, they got upset because you kind of you changed your behavior on them when they, st when they started to realize, I'm seeing a red Tesla here, when, when, uh, when they kind of showed themselves, you know, and they're like trying to explain, no, no, I didn't really like mean it like that. I swear, this is just like that TV show or the YouTube, whatever channel. It's just like, like I listen to music. Thinking of you, yeah, they want to know, like, are you into, like, nostalgia, or are you into, um... <sighs> so is anybody your type? I'm here in Niagara Falls, like, no budget. Yeah, make it rain Niagara with your Amex, like, on a Tuesday, going up on a Tuesday. Like, how do you act? I'm hearing Paul. Are you gonna act weird if, like, I even tell you, like, shoot, like, um, my card is at home? Like, what's the setup here? I don't know. I don't know what the situation is for everybody. Maybe some of you, you really, you need to weed some people out here. It could even be friends. You want to know why they're there, you know? Maybe they're there literally because they need a meal. I don't know the, the, the degree for everybody. Maybe you literally are dating on a dating app, and it's like, you're just taking different steps and stages. It's like, oh, shoot, I forgot my wallet. Then they're like, oh, I got you, no problem. Then it's like... Oh, wait a second. Actually, I think it's like in that other bag. Yeah. And then you're going to pull it out. It's something like that. Okay. So some of you, you feel you need to kind of like slow down maybe with how it is that you're like up front with someone on something here. Return in. Mm -hmm. Something about a gym. Maybe you also feel that you already flashed your wealth a bit already and they kind of see it. And now you want to kind of like, um, you got to test them on that. Like, okay, so now I'm going to kind of change it up. Like you think I'm really wealthy. And then are you going to expect something from that? Oh, this is super specific. So, Okay. Anyways, something about a sock. Maybe you want to know if they're cheap. Like, would they be open with you in the way that you're open with them? So it's like, okay, I'll pull back a little bit, you know, and see if they, maybe they're willing to pay right now uh, for this. Like, you know, it's like if I'm paying this, would they expect me to also pay for that? Like, it's a concept, you know. Okay, this is super specific. Some of you also, you got into an argument with this person, though. And I feel like some of you, you saw enough, and it's like you're starting to pull your energy back. It's like, you know what? Um, I don't think that we're a match, yeah. And they're, like, getting upset and weird. It's like, you're driving away in your Lambo. <laughs> that's, a, that's a kind of vibe. It's like, no, no, I gotta go. That's your lesson. Bye. I'm here in Cam. Uh, Jade? No. You may even have another person in on this. Yeah. Like, maybe you want another person set up to watch how they behave. Like, okay, what did she do when I said that? Did she, was she like, did she start talking to other guys? I don't know. It's, this is sounding very particular. Maybe someone even has a bit of, um, possibly like a paranoia or trauma where they don't know how, who to trust anymore. You know, maybe you're famous. Maybe we're, we're talking about a lot of wealth here. Maybe even we're talking about like, uh, I don't know, background check level stuff like um in investigations hiring someone it, maybe it's not for a relationship it could be for even something with the news it could be something um 
with a career. It's like, what would you do with the finances of this company kind of thing? You know, something like that. It could be an interview. Okay. But yeah, let's get a little more cancer. Whoa. Six of hearts. I'm game for your... No I was just going to say I'm game. I'm down for that. Something about flowers. Maybe you'll offer something to them and like, um, they don't know, like, for instance, like you're going to give the name of like a restaurant that sounds cheap, but it's very expensive. And it's like, you want to see the reaction. It's like, oh, oh, you thought it was just like a, oh, I okay, know it's like actually like a five star restaurant here that, okay. But anyways, oh, you thought it was like a motel, motel morning breakfast at the front desk lobby. Oh no, it's actually like Michelin, but okay. No, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Leave me at the bee's knees or maybe it's a hotel. Just whatever. You're trying to maybe trick someone. I don't know. Or maybe you're dealing with someone who's paranoid. It's like, why are you playing all these little games? It's like, let's just get to get, get to know each other. Maybe it's like turning something about a ring. He's like hiding the ring. It's like, what if I don't say I'm into commitment? Like then what? It's like he's playing these little games for some. Just return it. I see a surfboard. Oh my god, that song, Colby Kalit. I think uh, uh, something. I think I'm falling in love. I think I'm falling for you. Um, that music video. I'm seeing that guy. He's driving up with the Cadillac, and like he looks kind of like a bit like misfit out, out of out of context in that music video, like on purpose. Um, not it's not an opinion. It's like they created it so it looks like that. He's coming in Uggs to the beach, and like he has this Cadillac and like a big surfboard. Anyways, so um, he's a little bit like clumsy. He gives me like Shadow Sagittarius a little bit, <laughs> and um, like bringing everything to the beach, over prepare a little bit. So then um. Overpacked, uh, and then he, and then she is like, um, but she's falling for him. So it's like maybe he's purposely acting like that, and he wants to see Isaac. You need to wait. And then he and then he, and he, he wants to see like, will you be into me? If like this is probably like you know who knows maybe this would be me at my worst. Like, would you still love me? So yeah, I mean I don't know personally. I this makes sense. Like I can I can see where that may come from. Like I th I agree with that. I don't think that we should be showing up on the first date looking like a porno star. You know what I'm saying? I don't know per me personally. Um, usually my first date, yeah, I'm not showing up. Um, we got to leave some some twists and turns. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Okay, yeah, so, so, um, it's also about aligning expectations, right, so, um, I don't know, some people, they like to go looking, you know, full, full face of makeup, full this, full that, no, no, I'm gonna come looking a little bit grisly, and then why, you know, it's like, because if, if then, if at that point, you, you, you don't want another date, at least I know, you know, <laughs> yeah, so, so we miss, we miss the shave a few days, you know, are you here for the stubble or are you here for the, yeah, stock market even ticker? I don't know. Just return to the throw chakra. Like, yeah, we need to know like who, who you really are. So maybe even like this is a whole company. It's like, yeah, maybe at first they're like, yeah, so I don't know if we're going to be paying you that much. I don't know, y'all. It could be something where it's like, do you really want this job or here for the money? Like they want to really weed it out. It sounds like something very nuanced and quite important. Um, like we don't want, we want someone here who genuinely cares about like this. Maybe some of you, like, you don't want to hook up on the first date. It's like, I don't, I don't, you know, I want to know what you're here for. Are you able to be patient? Hey, Isaac, what? Well, come, come. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bubu. So, yeah. Ow, Jesus, my hair, don't pull me. Tell me about the mall. Some of you, yeah, you want to know, like, if she's expecting, or he, they, maybe someone wants to be, like, a sugar daddy to, like, maybe it's a masculine, masculine, like, some, or woman, whatever it is. It's, like, does she or he expect me or they expect me to, like, P-I-M-P them out? I'm hearing that song, but is it 50 Cent? You don't know a thing about me. Da-da-da-da, P-I-M-P, something like that. Hmm. Like, will her facial expression change when she realizes that we went to the mall, we didn't buy anything? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Maybe you just want to get to know somebody, you know? So is she like that? What, what is she doing? I don't know. And then I feel like some of you, maybe it's the type of thing where it's like, it's not like you don't want to go shopping. I'm here in Lucian. It's like, it's not that like you don't want to go shopping, but um, 
you just want to know like if it's like what you know what i'm saying like i'm here talking about kendrick lamar it's like what where are you coming from though you know anyways so yeah i'm here in uh lay all your love on me i think it's a grease from the play grease okay <laughs> mama mia mama mia it, there's a scene in grease lay all your love on me she's laying on this sleeping on the beach Okay, um, maybe some of you want to go camping, you know, even maybe on a date. Um, here we're in Charlotte, Charlita, Charlotte, maybe Charlottetown. Like, you want to test something out, you know, do you like the beach? Are you okay with this? Are you okay with that? Are you cool with this? Cool with that? I see the number 11. I see a bird. Are you, like, comfortable, like, out of your element, even I'm hearing that? It sounds like maybe someone's testing. It does sound like it's an interview, Okay, guys. Um, I think that's it, Cancer. But, well, really quickly. Um, let's just see how this ends. This trial. <laughs> Someone is being trialed, it sounds like, almost. Um, for their love. We have Devil. I see someone crying here? Hmm. Yes, yeah, something about jewelry. Someone maybe even gives you like half of what they're really going to give you, but they start with half. It almost sounds like a negotiation. They want to know what your standard is, where your standard is at. It's like they're giving you half of what they were really going to give you, and they want to see like how you react. And then they're going to give you, it's like they're going to give you the rest of it. It's like, oh no, actually, no, that's not the whole thing though. It's like they want to see though, were you okay with that? Maybe they want to see if you're grateful, you know, possibly. Maybe it's like your parents. Mm, testing that. Okay. I keep hearing that song. You don't know a single thing about me. Da 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 P I M P. Something about a hotel, yeah. They're going to take it a step further. So maybe this person, you know, they'd be willing to do anything for the person they love, but they want to make sure that you you want their love and not just their money. So that's mm -hmm, that you don't want, like, just a hookup as well. So they're going to hold back, I feel. And mm -hmm, something about you're going to notice this is awkward a little bit because maybe some of you I'd see this person making it awkward. Like they're OK with making it awkward because I think this person has been hurt before and they uh, yeah, they don't want to. Um, yeah, they don't want to get into like a situation here so to them it's worth it to like possibly uh hmm make things strange you know between the two of you even for a period of time like this person um they don't care if it's weird like they, they don't want to get hurt and they don't want to be abused oh abused we have two aces with the sun. If they're going to have their answer in the second deacon, some of you, you're, you're going to hear that you get accepted to a certain program by the, th the third deacon. So we'll see you in the next video. Cancers, enjoy. Some of you, someone may even act like it's over, but it's not. Um, return and throw chakra with the sun and oh, the world in reverse. It's almost like they're emulating an ending and they just kind of want to test you. Like, how will they react if they think that this is the end, you know? Anyways, um, okay, guys, we did Aries, we did Taurus. We're now on to Virgo. Is it true? Right? What? Wait, we need Leo. We, we didn't do Leo yet. Okay. Leo. I hear Isaac. Why you barf? Um, maybe they even want to simulate like an argument. They want to know how you act in moments of conflict. It sounds like they maybe even, um, there's more where that comes from. Okay. Maybe it's just, yeah, with the world in reverse, like it's not what you think. So there could be a curveball. Isaac, no barking doll, or I'm gonna put you in the playpen. Leo, I see you're a little bit disenchanted or sad about something. Um, you feel like maybe you turn someone off. Like, I see you self-conscious a bit. Alex, Jade, go inside. Alex, come here, doll.
return it. You're worried about something even, Leo. Like, I feel like something even turned you off. Oh, shit. You're wor you feel like something also is not being um, honestly spoken about, or you feel like something is not natural, or you feel uncomfortable, Leo. There's something that's making you feel awkward, even. And, like, it's like you want to get out of your outfit here a bit with something. Um, it makes me think of the brown suit guy in the Gemini read. It's like you're not comfortable in these clothes. These clothes. You want to change. You feel you're not where you need to be at. Some of you also overworked. You're tired, Leo. You need to. Some of you also like you're you're, you're doing maybe too much of something. Like I see something getting out of control. I see a USPS box. Some of you are like shopping all the time online. It's like becoming addictive. Um. It's like you get this high out of the the Amazon package, uh, tracking web, website page. It's like you're, you know, it's becoming really maybe like, it's almost to the point where you can't go a day without ordering something. And it's like, oh my God, it's like your morning coffee. It's a click in coffee. <laughs> like, you know, it's something almost obsessive. And so you maybe wanted to check in with that. Some of you, you're ordering a lot of packages. I hear that. Or you're just spending a lot and it's like you want to get that and check. I'm seeing about FedEx. Um, it's like stuff you don't need though. I'm seeing something about a hat. Oh no, oh no. I see something even about like p pulling a credit line to get random Amazon items. You're um, possibly feeling really insecure about that. Like in the back of your mind, subconsciously, you know this is not good. Like uh, what I'm doing is not good. Like I, I, I don't need this fedora hat, okay? This is ridiculous. What am I doing? You got, someone bought a fedora hat off of uh, Amazon. I'm hearing something about Empire. You're realizing maybe this is, like, superficial stuff, even. It's, like, you know that this is not where you should be spending your money, possibly. Um, but it's, like, you can't help but, like, buy these tulip pattern fabric shoes. I don't know what is going on. I mean, these are random things, it sounds like, as well. It's not like there's a thread to this. Three to just Clara in the crown. Clear it in the sacral. It's like, this is not your happiness, Leo. This is not your true happiness. Some of you also smoking a lot or doing something that it's it's making you feel almost numb. You're not able to take a breather or a break and like really see things in context. You need to balance your life out a bit, Leo. Return to the heart chakra. I'm seeing fish eyes bulging. I don't know what that means. Like you just are getting, you're, I'm telling you now you're not in a good place, Leo. Okay, with that, I'm gonna be very honest with you. Okay, I feel like you're in denial. You're almost hypnotized. It's like, you know, it's like they got you with the marketing kind of thing. Okay, like there's something here. It's like you can't stop this. It's becoming obsessive. I'm hearing something about NYC. Some of you, maybe you traveling a lot every time, every weekend. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do that. Maybe every weekend, you know, you live in the Northeast area. Some of you live in, I'm here in Bergen County. I don't know where that is. It's like anything you can do, you're doing it. It's like you're going crazy with the spending thing, I'm telling you. I see you spending this on that. It's like... Uh, your fear of missing out it's like turning into like what am i not buying it's like oh my god some of you but uh some of you here you know i keep saying this fedora hat with feathers it's like you don't need that thing and you know it and you know it <laughs> it's like oh i know it's like it's maybe obsessed it's becoming obsessed it's like click 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 oh no it's like hey isaac can you hold on doll i see you licking your fingers off like all of them it's like you're just it's like you feel like it's like when you're in the airport in another country and it's like i'll never be able to buy any of this stuff anywhere else oh my god it's like you're filling your entire luggage you may even buy another luggage right there on the airport you know um you'll buy the luggage and you'll buy stuff and you'll fill it up it's like you want to use all your money up almost it feels okay we can all be there at that time you know at a certain point we have leo august spirit is saying like listen before your season you need to get this in check that's what i'm hearing maybe you want to save up for something because around that time there's going to be something you really have a great opportunity to, to purchase and you're going to be really upset if you don't have enough money i'm seeing something about mountains some of you you maybe you need to spend more time in nature okay like you need to balance like your activities some of you you're online you keep logging and logging out always on i don't know i'm hearing something about tiktok like something is driving this addiction like I'm always like checking for the latest on this website. It's like, 
you're yeah you're definitely you've definitely fallen for the trap there the market the, it's marketing it's not and i think you you know it but it's like you just need to so what you need to do i think leo you need to get the stimulation kind of like brought down a notch um you're over hyper stimulated and i think that you need to go maybe to like um i'm here in somewhere slow paced naturist recalibrate your energies with the earth um because tiktok is not life you know tiktok is tiktok is is uh, an industry tiktok is, is it, yeah uh, I don't know. Some universe was maybe it's even social media. Like you're not able to sort of ground yourself. You feel every morning you're waking up. You know it's like obsessive. Like did I get? It's not natural. It's not normal. So I think you need to spend more time in nature, and really to get your. I'm here and also your circadian rhythm back on on track because some of you, uh, you know, you're staying up late. You're bidding on these. Uh, f I don't know. Look at like a tap dance shoes on eBay <laughs> at like 5 a.m. And I think, you know, like, this is not the answer, you know, like, this doesn't, this is not a good trade off, like ruining your sleep just a bit on this. I don't know. Okay. I gotta go. You put an alarm and like, you have anxiety, maybe Leo, you think you need to, yeah, I'm here in 80, 80,000. All right. I said, I wanted to spend 10, but all right. It's like, this is not, you're not thinking about maybe this. You're just impulsive. You're just making these impulsive decisions. And some of you, you're eating into your life savings. Some of you, you know, you have this anxiety. And, like, you, I think that maybe you need another person so that you're not putting your hand on the wallet with that, you know? Um, you need to maybe put your hand more on, you know, the treadmill and maybe, you know, get some exercise. Because otherwise, that energy is being filtered online. And maybe in social media, it's obsessive, you know? It's like you keep... You, you, it's like you keep clicking. I'm hearing that. Something about that. So maybe, um, yeah, it's like you, maybe it's your time. I'm here and I'm wasting my time. I know. I'm wasting my gas. I know. It's like maybe you're driving in circles. Some of you, you know, maybe it's a metaphor. You need to get, you need an objective. Otherwise, you know, it's like, hey, I don't know. It's like the sales are up. What are you looking for? I don't know. It's like, so then they're like, all right, well, I got a lot of things that, you know, I can sell you on. <laughs> so you go into the shop and there's a lot of stuff they're going to sell you on. So, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, but you need like, but you don't need that stuff. See, that's the thing. If you don't have an objective, then you're not able to have a scale of what really you're resonating with. And it, uh, personally, if I don't have an objective, I think usually it's better to just not sort of enter into a space where, um, you know, you could be taken advantage of because that's really what it, what we're looking at here. This is about being taken advantage of in shops and stores, malls, online, everything. It's your energy, it's your time, your finances. Some of you here you know if you don't have an objective you need to get into that place do what you need to do what you do what you can do uh, do what you do to get into into balance i'm hearing some of you shape maybe it's food it's different things for everybody in terms of where you're out of balance um you know for instance like don't eat random like uh, snacks all the time you need to have like a real meal that's going to sustain you but you need to get you know kind of back at the start okay it's like you're already behind a little bit you're at the end of that lap um and you know you're not going to win this race so maybe instead just take a breath, stop, take a breather and wait for everyone else to do that lap and come back to you. And then you're going to have more energy to get into that lap. So the next one, some of you um, don't go overboard. Be very careful because once your season comes around, you know, that's when you're really going to need to run. Okay. That's when spirit is saying, you know, that's when you want to spend as what I hear. Uh, maybe there's something with an industry. Maybe some of you here, you know, you're thinking that maybe you'll make um, something about real estate. You're buying one thing, selling, but it's like too close. It's too soon. So I think you need to save and, if you are agreeing with that and you're like, okay, I want to save, then um, you have to change something about your environment, okay? Your your current predicament. You have to change something that allows you to sort of do that, right? If you're like, okay, I want to save, but then, well, what's the issue? I, well, I keep spending. Okay, where where is that happening at? You need to know the context. You need to know the drivers for this behavior of yours um, that is not serving you as you deem it, right? Uh, so, um, for instance, well, Oh, I keep going to the mall. It's like, then don't go to the mall. Okay, well, how do I not go to the mall? What, you got to find another activity to replace that thing. Same thing with, yeah, if it's a food, got to find a, 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 an activity or a food that replaces that thing. Uh, for instance, I keep drinking, you know, sugary drinks. I don't want to drink sugary drinks. Okay, find an alternative you know, drink water because sometimes we think we're, we're, we're hungry. We want something sweet, but you're actually thirsty. So you need to kind of get down to what's happening here. Take the time to slow down and stop and really commit to what the problem is. Is it that I'm actually needing exercise and I'm online and I'm just typing, maybe it's, you're talking a lot to your friends, whatever it is, it's like not balanced Leah. Right? So find that, that key, open the door where you can sit in that room, have meditative silence. I hear that. Some of you need to really slow down and really meditate 
go into a, uh, a healing state of mind. I'm here to heal myself. I'm my best friend. I'm not, you know, on whole and needing to do something outside of myself to find my happiness and pleasure because anywhere that that is, that's actually, that's more addictive. That's an entity actually. So that's the thing with addictions and maybe, you know, you're trying to kick a habit. Um, you know, you know, this is not bringing you happiness. It's just reaching the symptoms. So, and maybe not even that it's making them either worse or there may more symptoms are cropping up. Maybe it's medication. You know, you need to maybe look into some natural remedies with something here. So it's about the, and I think that, you know, really nature is number one, like nature is that sort of, it's the rhythm of our world here. Um, that's one thing that we cannot eliminate. I mean, unless we want to eliminate ourselves, we are nature. So coming back into nature, we will recalibrate and in many, many ways. So you need to, for instance, block off time. Like, okay, the time that I would be at the mall, I'm going to go to nature. I'm going to have an activity. I'm going to schedule myself or join a group or join a club or something that's going to let me sort of have an alternative. Um, so because it's too easy to fall into a rhythm, right? Especially if it's been a habit made. And also if society gears us towards that, society usually does not, we don't see commercials on TV, right? Um, we don't have advertisers paying for commercial space to um, uh, advertise an, a, a walk through the park. I don't I've personally never seen an advertisement like that. So, yeah, what's free is actually usually good for you. <laughs> it's usually the best for you. Um, some of you, yeah, you need to, you need to get back into touch with nature. You need to get back into touch with, you know, the earth. Okay. You need to ground. Um, some of you here, really it's about water. Okay. Hydration, healing. Uh, you need to get back to the staples. Uh, you, you're going too much, I think, into these frivolous, um, you know, um, you know, just ways that companies get you to just basically spend money. It's like, you don't need those things. Um, so, and, and it doesn't feel good, right. To be sort of, cause you draw these cords with companies you draw cords with products and um i think some of you need to cut some cords here uh is it coffee is it you know it's like this is an addiction it's not what you need so understand the difference and really have the time to really you know go on through it with yourself what are these things i'm spending on and does it serve me because it's not just oh, okay i just spent that money it's energy it's a, again a cord attachment and it doesn't it, you know it's it's if it's not serving you and thus it doesn't actually feel right and that's your higher self your higher self knows i'm kind of being drawn um out okay of myself a bit so um you want to be maybe more natural you want to be more honest some of you here maybe you know um for instance you're wearing a lot of makeup and it's like uh, i don't really want to wear makeup like what's the psychology even of makeup right i know it can be artistic and fun but like let's get down to it you know you can find an outlet for that that's actually serving you because to be honest right makeup anything you put on your skin you absorb that and it goes into your bloodstream so um you need to be i mean are you willing to eat your makeup if you're not, uh, don't put it on your face um, unless you're buying organic makeup, but still even, you know, um, and then further, f further than from that, um, what about like getting to the source, like where you don't need makeup? And I think there, yeah, um, I've never, again, seen a commercial where it's the commercial, the advertisement is just like, hey, uh, did you know that you can eat well and achieve the same look as wearing, uh, yeah, mascara or whatever, whatever the uh, concealer under your eyes, like, I've never seen a commercial like that. Have you? So because it's free, right? It's free. It's free to change perspective. So um, you need to be able to remind yourself though and know when you need to remind yourself and have that space in which you can reconnect with yourself where you say, I need to get a handle on this to remind myself that I can change my perspective. And it's very hard though because addictions are lucrative, right? Uh, and that's the problem, okay? Because then it's like, yeah, and you feel like you're, it's a, it's a well, it's a cult. So some of you, it's with your finances. You got a lot of court attachments when it comes to your finances, when it comes to, and I think some of you, you just don't have that alternative though. It's like, well, if I don't spend on that, then what? And that's where exactly they want you to be at. And that's where you have to take that break, that pause. You need to get back into nature. Some of you, you know, maybe you're living in a city that's hyper stimulating. Like maybe you do live in New York. Maybe you do live, maybe even in, I'm here in somewhere like, um, I'm here in Glasgow. Is that Scotland? You, some of you live in Germany somewhere. Um, there's a lot that you can buy. You know, some of you are buying a lot of like one thing. It's like, oh my God. It's like you're becoming a collector of whatever that thing is. Some of you, it's like German, something with German chocolate. Anyways, it's like, I don't even want these things. Yeah. So 
it's like a fire energy. Some of you, you don't have an outlet for that energy that actually um, is empowering to you. So, yeah, guys, I'm here with the name Pedro. Some of you need to travel. You need to be more physical, physically active. Um, you know, you'd be surprised. Like, if you actually spent more time, let's say, getting physically active, you wouldn't be maybe eating as much or spending as much. You know, per, for example, possibly. Always talk to your personal practitioner, though, right? Of course. I mean, you're in Heather. Like, it's not even, like, um, really making you happy. Like, you're buying, like, 25 colors of one one product. It's, like, I don't... Or 25 flavors of one product. It's, like, I don't even want that, though, to begin with. Like, so it's it's this energy that needs to actually suit you, and it's not suiting you. It's suiting another... It's suiting this 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 company. Okay, so there's some kind of possibly even reptilioid company here that has sent out sort of this... Um, I'm here in um, representative. It's, like, they help you identify with your reality through their business. It's, like, but you don't need them to do that, right? That's an entity. Okay, super specific. Let's get further. Some of you, it's food, okay? Like, you're hooked on these sugary foods, and it's not actually stabilizing you. It's not stabilizing your blood sugar. You feel like you're not able to survive without this food. It's like you're a complete zombie if you don't eat that snack or eat it. That's not normal. That's not healthy. No. No, it's not. Like, and, and I'm seeing something about fast food. You know, you need to have a handle on this. Oh, but I don't have time. You got to make time. You know, you got to definitely make time. Otherwise, this, this will consume you. What you're consuming will be your own downfall at the end of the day. Okay? You don't want to feel prison to, a prisoner to these, these, um, you know, these, these, I'm hearing cousins, cousins of, cousins of the, of the Clark, the Clark, the Clark, the Clark, the Clark Institute. I don't know what that is. Clark, Clark. Maybe even you you adopted this habit from another person. Um, you need to pinpoint when you adopted this habit. When you start, some of you need to go into a psychological space, really unearthing this. Yeah, move on. Um, some of you, it's your home. You know, it's like if you get yeah, just return the energy. You need to do some clearing, Leo. It's like, well, I did that ever since I moved here. It's like so. Maybe we got to move. You know, there's something uh, not serving you. Okay. Some of you, there's something you need to heal within you, and then you're, yeah, <clears throat> just return it. And then you're going to release this, like, it's much easier. Anyway, some of you, there's a crutch addiction that you may have. It's like, some of you just bored. Okay, <laughs> it, it's, it, it's just, um, just clear the lost body. It's just your, um, return to center lost side body. It's something psychological for some of you. Maybe you need to go to the therapist or somewhere and talk to really someone and, because in the meantime, it's like, before you, until you do that, you're going to have this, uh, this, this obsessive even energy. So, <clears throat> something about how you see yourself, perception. Some of you, unfortunately, you may be getting addicted to plastic surgery. Um, you know, the sooner that you can get a handle on this, uh, you know, it doesn't get any better. You have to get help here, definitely. Um, and I think maybe, you know, maybe it's rehabilitation. You maybe have an addiction, something about drinking. It's not, it, it's not meant to help you. So yeah, be friends with yourself. You're first your own best friend and, uh, you know, get yourself out of the situation. We have intimacy, communicate. Okay. So moving yeah some of you it's like you know what this is kind of remind me a little bit of the tourist reading here it's like okay i know i got to do this so some of you are going to move eventually um and that'll be big for you that'll be huge you'll become a totally different person you know you're going to care a lot more about maybe your health here i see that um maybe you're living in a city where it's like a big drinking culture or a school it's like a big drinking culture and um you're not happy there i hear that as well okay leo so and and you deserve to be happy we all have our happy place as well so maybe you're yeah mm-hmm now, what's going uh -huh, on here? Yeah. Some of you are also not, like, really where you want to be at. Like, literally, maybe with, like, life projects and such. Like, you have a lot of things that you want to pursue, but something about the... Like, you're not at all there. It's like you're in the wrong part of the world right now, you feel. Um... Can I see a little bit like spirit? Uh, well, first let's get here. I want to get a long-term read like on this, like in terms of the months. Um, when are we looking at this shift being made for, when is the portal for this change for Leo? It's like you have to uproot something. You got a lot of roots laid out somewhere. Queen of Wands. It's like, but I've been here for so long. Like, la la la. Okay, five of Wands. I have five swords. Some of you even very um, defensive about this. It's like you don't want to admit that this is not working for you. Uh, maybe people have told you, hey, are you sure like you like this lifestyle? It's like, well, it's like you um, you don't want to like, um, you don't want to confront this. 
it's like, are you sure you like this? It's like, yeah, I love this. It's like, okay, you sure? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Something about London. London fog. Okay, thank God. So I see that there's some illusion. It's almost like Neptune. Neptune rules addictions. Um, it rules, yeah, it rules um, drug use. It rules all kinds of these such things. There's something you're not seeing. It, it rules um, r rose colored glasses. You don't need glasses. This is what I'm hearing at all. Like you, um, maybe you're, I don't know, y'all. It's like you're giving yourself this prescription. I don't know. It's like, why did I... It's like you wanted to wear braces for fun. It's like you went through the whole thing. It's like, I didn't need braces, but yeah. Okay, anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight months from now. The bubble gonna pop with this. With Ten of Cups and Justice. Like, I guess I'm ready to be happy. Like, this is silly. You are maybe... Even possibly for some of you going through this phase. Like, um, I don't know. Like, you weren't yourself, Leo, I feel... April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Wow. Yeah, lovely. Let's get into the next uh, read. Thank you, Leo, for tuning in. Hit the like button if this was helpful for to you. Um, if you want to help support this channel, you can do so. You can join members. That's one way, and it really does help uh, this channel continue the way that it does. So if you're liking this content and you like this channel, Alchemy New, then yeah, um, that's a way to let the guides know as well that um, you see us and we're here, and this is working for you, and this is a, a portal that's helpful to you. Um, so thanks for your astral feedback with that. It's all energy, and the energy exchange is very much seen, and I appreciate y'all. So um, furthermore, though, you can also hit the like button, and you could subscribe. It also does help this channel um, similarly. So... Virgo, so is it true we're on Virgo now? Yeah, return to sender. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe you want to also watch um, overlap from Leo to Virgo. Virgo, there's something here that you know you're a little bit upset about. I feel like you wanted this to work out. You really did. I'm hearing the name Eden here. You really thought this was gonna be, yeah. I'm here in Victoria. Like you're very disappointed with something. It's like, for instance, you thought this dress was gonna look really, really, really beautiful. You bought it off the internet, and it's like. This is not what I'm looking for, okay? Like, at all, it doesn't fit me the way that it, it was supposed to. There's something, maybe you even had something ta um, customized or you commissioned work for something. And No, um, it's, not, um, you, it's not tasteful to you. It's not tastefully done. The quality is not as expected. You're not impressed, okay, Virgo? Um, so, uh, I see a p um, um, painted mosaic. You could be getting hard on yourself about this. Um, there's a project here. Some of you, you're like quite emotional about this even maybe this meant a lot to you and it's like give almost giving me like it was you know this is the aesthetic i was going for on my pinterest board and like now i feel like it's i'm even losing time and now i have to do it sloppy at the end of the day i don't know something like that um you put a lot of pressure on yourself with this here potentially it seems something about even like um yeah what happened here like maybe you were very excited you had a very high standard with yourself and then it's like it didn't come out the way i thought with the hermit maybe you made a cake you baked a cake or you it was something with cooking um some of you you need time to heal maybe you feel that something just something happened here with the hermit um something got like um kind of messed up or how do we say um confusing and like it's like you thought this was going to be m much better executed <laughs> i see you frustrated a little bit i see like it's when a virgo doesn't um oh, but then i see you a little sad too you know i see you kind of like really disenchanted from time to time during the cycle like you keep going back to this like you're maybe upset that someone couldn't deliver something to you. Turn in the crown. The way that it needed... Yeah. Now, some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo who's kind of, like, being a narcissist towards you. Like, they're never happy with what you're giving them. It's like, I did so much for... Yeah, some... Okay. You, uh, okay, let's... Okay, fuck off. Some of you here... I'm not talking to light workers, obviously. I'm talking to... There's an entity here. Mm -hmm. Some of you are dealing with a narcissist. Just returns on the back. Like, who is this asshole? Some of you, this person is... Excuse my language. Like, an asshole. Okay? 
he's a total jerk i'm your narcissist like and you're like sad maybe this is you who's sad maybe you're crying because this person return in the third eye he's always like i'm here about the name brandon i'm here right why are you like being mean just retail i don't like this okay someone here is being very very na narcissistic towards you no matter what you do they're always like, no, that, yeah, some of you, you're, maybe it's your so-called boss or whatever. I don't want to call it that, but you, yeah, someone commissioned work and it's like, they're making you feel like you didn't do anything. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Just return it. Okay. Some of you really need to check out of this, this, whatever this is. If this is a relationship, oh my God, please get yourself out of here as soon as possible. Um, it could be a state of mind potentially as well return it in the return to sender this person is not loving towards you they're not healing they're not um accepting you you feel really hurt you feel really and admit it please because that's the first step don't pretend that you know this person is right okay they're very controlling very manipulative and they're i remember this one really really unfortunate sad tourist reading it was some years ago where someone was like making fun of the way they were dressing something about name brands or bullying them this person needs to screw off okay i feel like i need to protect somebody here that's the feeling i get like someone here is being abused someone is being psychologically abused here okay um, is you love to wear something the way you love to wear it you wanted to wear some sweater it's like someone was making fun of that they need to fuck themselves okay they need to go and screw themselves. Return it. In this, I, I don't like this at all. I feel like you need protection. Someone here needs protection. Okay. Some of you, this is about you, like with social media, and maybe there's a hybrid of Leo. You need to check out. No one to check out of what someone thinks about you. Don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what you want to say about me. Okay. I don't care if you're going to like my picture. You can go, yeah, just go kill yourself. I'm sorry, but what? Like, this is what they need to hear. Some people here, you're giving them way too much respectful sort of, you know, oh, yeah, right, maybe I'll change. No, this person needs to change. I'm here in Chained Melody, that song. Whoa. Woo. My love. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> that makes me think of bowling. We just hit that and yeah, I fell over. Um, no, like, you're making many jokes and this person's kind of like being very rude it's like they're not even laughing at your jokes they're making you feel like an outcast who the fuck is this weirdo they're an entity cleared on the back it's like giving me prejudice like they're keeping you left out in the cold like they're making you feel you're not welcome they're making you feel like you're not accepted that you need to do something specific to feel like involved here some of you you're a singer and this person's always making fun of your singing like this person needs to go you'll never have peace here never and it's not about you two of cups i'm here in everlasting love dun, 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 yeah so everlasting love like you're being exploited i mean beyond like yeah the emotional incongruences like in terms of like moral there's no morals here like these people don't care if you're maybe working somewhere they're exploiting the hell out of you it's not that you're not doing a good job they're just putting you down because well yeah it helps them get you like keep um trying you know it's very very fucked up this i hope you leave this situation i really hope that you can get yourself up and out of here by the bootstraps just pick yourself up because i don't i don't i don't think anybody ever owes this to anyone okay you're doing also you need to realize way too much mm -hmm. some of you are like working for free like i mean just return to the mac it's about self-confidence but you're what well, return no you're you're letting someone like you're giving them the benefit of the doubt you know you're giving them the benefit you're you're giving them a space to disrespect you as well let's get honest and some of you you're a leo it's like i'm letting him kind of like push me around i mean what some of you, this person, like, I'm here because I could do whatever you like. It's like, you try be honest now. You don't want to do that, though, do you? Someone is abusing. Your kindness, Virgo. Okay, or, or vice versa, you know? Whoever this is, someone is being very um, disrespectful and, like, they owe you, okay? Yeah. And some of you, this is super imbalanced, like... They're making you feel trashy, and then they're going and living in, like, this really nice house. Like, we have to see the situation here with the Empress and the Ten of Cups. It's, like, people kissing this person's ass. I'm hearing that as well. Maybe this is, like, a boss figure, and everyone, like, no one stands up to them, and they're just, like, stealing people's energy, time, karma. It's, like, and then they're talking badly to them. It's, like, go, go fuck yourself. Take a banana. Take a, take a carrot. Take, take a cucumber. Whatever you need. Just go, go do it please for everybody and just 
fall off. I don't know. Some of you, this person is a horrible individual. Really a horrible, horrible person over here. I, I, I don't, I hope we never see their energy again. And I hope that you really can get yourself out of this conversation here. Something about convalescent. Someone is being really nasty. Now the Ace of Pentacles leading out with a tower. Some of you, it's physical. He's forcing you to like give him a head or a blowjob or something. And it's like, this is not a fa fair, fair at all, fair circumstance at all. You Queen of Wands, he's forcing you to like feel like a side girl or like make you feel like you're not good enough unless you do these things for him. I mean, this is disgusting. Okay, I need to tell you right now, you're at this read. I'm glad we caught you for a minute because I don't think that maybe some of you really realize that you can do better. <laughs> okay, because you will trust that you can. And number one, I'll tell you, it's being not with this person it's not another person's being not with this person okay it's, this is not like about oh well, really there's a better person out there it's like you you're better off single and you need to realize that you need to be single first actually really because the premise here is that we believe that this is something that we need like it's kind of like if this is not serving you why are we here right you don't need this relationship but it's like it's like for instance like if it makes your life better okay that's one thing i just saw a bird poop okay um if, if it's making your life better, that's a one thing. But it's like, if it's not making your life better and you don't need it, it's like, do you need this relationship to breathe? Do you need this relationship to live, to survive? Um, no. It's an add-on add to your life, you know? It's the frosting. Um, this is, and, and if it's not frosting, and if it's actually like, it's some kind of carcinogenic burnt, uh, you know, something has been crusted on the top. This is not your person as well. Hey, Jade, no. It's not comfortable for you. You know, you'll realize that you're his slave or whatever. Like, you're just making him happy. Some of you are really in involved in some kind of, um, you know, you need to run away, I feel. That's how you feel with the star and the emperor. It's like, but you need to get, for some of you, maybe assistance to do this, to get out of the situation. Maybe it's something legal, Lord. I really wish you the best with this. This sounds kind of um, oppressive. It feels like an oppressive energy, and it's like you can't leave. Um, God forbid that maybe you would have sensitive data that you they would be holding you to. Um, like, that's it. You know, It's like the mafia. Now you have this information about us, so we can't let you go and expose us. You know, something like that. Take care of yourself, Virgo. Clear your energy. Let's get into the um, mm -hmm. return to center, the next sign, Libra. What's up, Libra? Somebody wants to call you. I want to call you up. I see someone wanting to talk to you on the phone. This is someone from, um, can I see a little more? Something about California. Somebody lives in California. Super specific. Knight of Wands in Reverse. The Eight of Swords of Bright. They're, I feel like they don't see you, though, right now. Like, they don't see you, Libra, but they really, they, they love you. They like you a lot. They're drawn to you, but they're acting like they don't really know you, even. Maybe you're going to hear from someone out of the blue. DP, oh my god. Return it. I'm here in, um, um, I mean, you're in deal, deal. Like this person, um, they were, um, this is surprising. I'm here in Abbott. Okay. I'm here in Akil, Akili. We have adopt. We literally just spelled adopt. Return in the sacral, in the root chakra. This person was not sure if you would see them. Like if, if for instance, if you would like this, if you would like this gesture, um, we have adopt in I A E. Some of you, maybe something with a child. We have S, Sia. Interesting. Um, Insta. Insta, adopt. Someone's rushing in. I think maybe, like, how, you definitely don't see them coming in. Um... But yeah, like they saw maybe even your picture online and you didn't think they were going to hit you back up, but they are. Um, they were really interested more than you thought. They're going to respond like immediately. That's what I hear. Uh, I'm hearing uh, uh, P -P PDA, POD pod. That makes me think of one of those uh, little, um, what do they call them? Like travel pod uh rvs where you can store stuff inside someone like saw your work even online and they're gonna reach out to you i'm here in aa i'm here in oh my god you did like see my work and you like it wow it's like this person really um quite impressed by you so let's get further they're gonna like surprise you they know that you're i'm hearing something about like pulling a product off of a shelf someone maybe you have a famous client come in like they're gonna give you um 
They're gonna give you even a compliment about some. I don't know. You're gonna. This is very um, surprising. Whatever this is, seven of swords. Yeah, you don't see this coming. Maybe they. You wake up and then you see a comment on your picture. It's like, oh my god, it's gonna make your heart race, y'all. Some of you. Ooh, ten of swords in reverse. Some of you, they're gonna show up to your house, and it's like, what are you doing here? Nine of cups up right. The world up right. I'm here when it's the end of the road and I still let it go. You belong to me. Something about caramel. Like they see you not expecting this. They know that you're not seeing this coming. Whoa. Till the end of the road. I'm here. I bet she never expects me to reach out to her here. Someone was incarcerated. I see that as well. I see someone walking and lifting their dress. It's kind of giving me like Marilyn Monroe vibe right there. Yeah, I see a Sprinter van, uh, a Mercedes Sprinter van. Something about the color yellow here. Yeah, someone's literally just driving like up to you even. Um, Oh my god, it looked like there was like a like a some kind of something was fluttering in the air there. Like a look yeah, look oh, is it a bird or a receipt? <laughs> You're gonna be like shocked. Um someone's like literally just gonna pop up and be like, Hey, I'm here. You wanna like go somewhere? Lovers with the strength card. They wanna go maybe on some kind of um I mean pack your things, like we're 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 getting out of here. Like this person wants to invite you even somewhere, but it's the way they do it is shocking as hell. The sun, yeah, they may show up with like a new car or um, something to your place. <gasps> Give me a sec, guys. Let me open for Isaac to come back here. Oh. Oh, I just, I just like, oh. oh my God. What do they like remembered you though? Um, it's like, oh my God, how did he remember me? Maybe they even remembered where you live. Like, oh my god, what? I'm hearing roll roly roly poly oly. He like rolled to your front door like a roly poly oly and he just bumped it and you're like, what was that? You open the door and he's just like right there. Okay. Just return it and the sacral something is gonna come much much quicker than you thought as well. Okay, let's see. Someone wants to kiss you. This can be someone from your past tower universe. King of Wands of Bright. Now, some of you do need to be careful, though. Like, don't open your door to strangers, please. Um, that's something that I am seeing you do need to be a little bit careful with here. That's for someone. Some of you going to have, like, maybe even a bit of a misunderstanding. Like, I thought you were going to meet me here at this time. But, yeah, he's just going to pop right up. I, I do see something, again, about some kind of car or, like, a van. Um, an RV. It's, like, a very livable... I'm here in Lighthouse, Lighthouse, Lifehouse, Lighthouse. And I hear that song again. To the end of the road. I see someone lighting a match. And he has a pair of scissors in his hand. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Maybe y'all are like kind of alchemists. Like he wants, somebody wants to go on a journey with you. What? Something about Salem for some. You're going to travel. Okay. If something is a little risky, though. Like, the, or this person's making a move that's risky. It's like, I keep seeing they're at your door. It's like, hey, um. Oh, my God. You are not going to see this, I swear. Like, Mirren Anderson, Cooper. Isn't that something with the news? I don't know. Maybe someone's showing up at your door, like, ch -ch, lights going off, and they have a microphone. We want to talk to you. It's like, what? The hangman reverse. I mean, you're not going to see this coming at the time that it's at. It says reunited. Oh my god, there's a little car going through. It looks like a magnet. It says reunited, red and white. It's a car. So they're coming with a car to your door. It's so specific. I mean, I see balloons. I'm hearing. I see the color red. I keep seeing a match being lit here. This person has not Yeah, they're looking at you. I'm seeing something about. Um, Adam, Adams, uh, the Adams family, uh, with the girl Wednesday with her, um, braids. Morticia Adams. 
Maybe it's a surprise. Like, oh, you got me all riled up for, like, dinner tonight. Maybe they had a surprise. No, I got tickets for us to go to, like, Cabo or something like that. Anyway, six of swords. So. You're going to get this news, like, when you're really tired. Some of you are going to be, like, completely distracted. Um, you're not going to be seeing... You're not waiting at your door for this. I see a white... Yeah, some of you are going to... Something's going to show up at your house. It's like something was off with the tracking, even. I thought that... Like, this doesn't add up, even. I don't know. Some of you bought furniture. It's going to come way early. It's like... It said it was going to arrive, like, in 10 days. It arrived, like, on, I'm here on Tuesday. On Tuesday, the next day. Anyways. Some of you, though, like, this person planned it like that. They wanted to throw you off like that, so... All right. Um, yeah, they want to travel with you. Six of Swords. But it's something about, like, maybe the nature of that travel. It's something that maybe they, for instance, they said, oh, no, like, I never want to travel here or there. And they're going to change their mind about that. I see something about a swimming pool. <clears throat> Return in the Heart Chakra. I'm here in Andy's again. Andy. Anderson. I'm tired of this. I don't know. Maybe even, like, you were just distracted. You were working hard on something, you got tired, and then all of a sudden, like, someone hits you up, and you're like, return it. Oh, God, here we go with the Victorian. <laughs> Victorian hairstyle. Okay. It's like, maybe this person, even some of you, you're just working on your work, and then this person st comes through, and they want to have, like, oh, I'm hearing sex with you. Whoa, the Ace of Wands right there. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Ten of Wands. You're, like, gardening or something, and then this person comes through with a different vibe. It's, like, out of nowhere. It's like, what are you doing here? I was gonna like work. This person's like horny or something for you. I don't know what this is about, you guys. Page of Wands. He's coming out of nowhere with like a boner. The star. Oh my. Yeah, you're in the you're in the backyard. You were planning on just kind of. I don't know, man. What? Yeah, Queen of Wands. Maybe even like you guys said, no, we're not gonna hook up anymore. Like you decided, like you don't want to hook up, and then you're gonna change that. It's like, nah, let's hook up. This is ridiculous. Uh, I, I I'm here in. I, I really need you now. I need you. Is it Ray J? Um, da, 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 da. How does it go? Gotta see you. Boo. Is it, I don't know. Anyways, it's like, I just didn't even think I'd hear from him. There's so many surprises. And then I see someone for some of you coming up from behind you and they got a boner and they're hugging you. And it's like, whoa, you were gardening. <laughs> I thought that you said I'm here. Yeah, I know. It's like he's gonna kiss you. Oh, it wants to reverse. Uh, some of you, this is happening maybe at a place that you never thought like you guys would be horny during that time. But like then, yeah, it comes out of nowhere. Okay, the night of wands. Whoa, he's gonna come out of nowhere. Shoot! It's like he's coming out of the uh, yeah, the apple of your eye, corner of your eye, apple in your eye. Yeah, I see a Penske moving truck. It's like maybe you guys are busy doing stuff. Something about cottage cheese. And then he's going to be, like, suddenly in the mood. It's like you guys were a minute ago just, like, looking at the chandelier and, like, positioning it in the bedroom. And then it's like, oh, my God. I actually, uh, I want to, like, see your steamy pictures from last night. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> the hermit. He's going to, yeah. Hmm. Someone is very interested in you. Like, more than anything, I think that maybe you don't know. I don't know, y'all. Or you just didn't think, like, you were that sexy or something. It's like, you're going to realize this person really remembered even everything about you that night. <laughs> Throw chakra. He wants you to put lingerie on for some. He liked what you guys did that night. Let's do it again. Yeah, you thought maybe he forgot about it. No, I didn't forget about it. Let's do it again. I'm seeing the Statue of Liberty here. Uh-huh. So, maybe you thought he wasn't even, like, excited about you like that. But no, he is. Like, he wants to, like, um... He wants to go somewhere special with you. Okay. So the High Priestess and the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you guys are moving. Maybe you're heavy lifting. It's like... I'm seeing, like, a professor in the middle of, like, his class. All of a sudden, he goes to be right back, like, to all the students. And then he's like, he, won't, he wants to hook up with you right then. I mean, that's the energy I'm feeling right now. It's kind of weird, random. A little bit, like, really at this time? It's like, yep. Returning the throw chakra. It's like, all right. <laughs> I hear like this. He went to the restroom in the middle of class, kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. I thought you were in class. It's like, he may be surprised you. He said he was going to class and then he's coming back. The moon. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew, the high priestess again. He wants you to be in that lingerie again. Oh, my God. My stomach is kind of like, I feel this burny vibe in my chakra of the sacral. It's like, what kind of language is that? <laughs> vibe of the sacral. Okay. So, maybe someone here is going to actually also start getting quite 
directive with you like in terms of what they're feeling like maybe they're gonna be more showy maybe they were more friendly and then they're gonna be like listen i can't hide this boner that's popping out of my pants right now like i just i can't tell you i don't feel you like that ten of wands what this card just like flashes lights very bright very very bright three of swords okay someone is something about barcelona he was traveling and then he had vibes about you while he was traveling maybe okay what happened between something about big feet he can't resist you or something like that. Six of Pentacles. This is making me think of the guy in the brown suit a little bit uh, from the Gemini reading. Mirroring. I do, like, actually really want to be with you. Hmm. Hangman Reverse. You were supposed to maybe spend farther time apart. He liked some of you wore. It was very sexy. Oh, my God. He felt like that outfit was just... If you guys, God forbid, were, like, in... If there was a fire in the house and you had to grab, like, your most... You needed one outfit each and you just take your belongings. Um, he would grab that outfit for you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. I see yellow. Miran, I want to see that again. Like, wow. Three of Cups. I like the way you wore it. The way you wore it. It's like, maybe it's just you, naked or whatever. Or, like, your outfits. Whatever, y'all. He just loves you. It's like he wants to... I see purple return it, clear the sacral. I mean, I did like like the way you did that. Maybe you guys did have a romantic moment. Just clear in the safe. Oh my god. I see a banana. I think this person they got more excited than they thought. Maybe they usually don't get excited by certain things, but they really did get very, very excited about you. Like you actually turned them on more than you knew or more than they expected. Something about Disneyland. I'm hearing man of the year. Man of the hour for the pinnacle. Yeah, he was horny out of nowhere. It's like, I want to do it here right now. It's like, whoa, really? Four of Pentacles. Okay, something was getting him turned on. So maybe he wanted to do it in nature. You guys were in nature. He started to get turned on. It's like, I don't know. I didn't think I would get... I'm getting turned on. It's like, okay, whoa. Okay, oh my God, whoa. It's like, oh, happened. I thought he was at work. It's like, he just drove back from work just to like hook up with you. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you, he drove like an extra like four miles. I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah, he was really horny. Uh, the Ace of Wands. I need to, like, know, like, I need to go, like, back into the future and see what that was that you were wearing. I mean, what? <sighs> King of Cups, guys. He's like, what? Okay, I don't know. I feel like awkward. Uh, what do you mean? Like, I don't know what to say. It's like he cornered you a little bit in, like, this room. It's like, uh, it's like, do you feel that, too? It's like, uh, what? What do you mean? You're in class. It's impossible. It's like you felt it was impossible to do it right. Just return the sacral. You thought maybe he was not even like capable of being horny or something. Or he told you, I don't really want to hook up anymore. Like something about bees, something about a dress. It's like he was maybe thinking that he wouldn't want to hook up with you then. But then at, at the time he did and the moment he did, I see I see something about a mop you guys were cleaning. Like it went from like Swiffer Duster to like Swiftly, like, yeah, do not disturb on the phone. Like, okay. The Four of Pentacles. Someone has a V. I think maybe a Venus of Virgo. Is it? Maybe a Mars of Virgo. It's like, I see a big gorilla in the wild. Like, you know how they're on their arms like this? Yeah. He's standing a big, big gorilla in this prairie. Some of you, he's maybe getting this, like, this look with you. It's like, why are you looking at me like that? It's like, he wants to come at you. The Hermit and the Devil. He's feeling very sexy. He doesn't know what to do anymore. Maybe you guys were friends for a long time. Whatever. Oh my god. I didn't think you know that though. It's like, really? That turned you on? It's like... He's very horny. Like, it's to the point where, I don't know, he's not... Like, he feels he's not on Earth anymore. So how do we describe this? Like, he is out of himself. Like, he's a little bit acting crazy even. He doesn't even, like, feel he's, like... Do you know, like, I don't know. It's a moment. I'm here in Gorilla Return in the Throw Chakra. It's not a convenient time. We're gonna see the side of him, like, holy shit. I thought you were, like, all, you know, hold yourself back. I've seen Cleopatra's eye. I thought you were able to, like, contain yourself. It's like, he's coming right at you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think... Honestly, he even... He did not expect... I'm seeing something about New York. Maybe this person will drive somewhere real far. It's like, let me prove to you. It's like... Oh my god. Some of you, he has very hairy arms. I see something about, um, mm -hmm. High Priestess. Priestess again? Like, maybe even you're working on something. Like, he's coming out, uh, something about, um, mm -hmm. He wants, like, he, something about you is turning him on. It's like, I didn't know that, like, holding my hairbrush turned you on. It's like, oh god, I'm hearing the name Jonathan. I'm here, uh, when's the wedding, darling? I don't know. Like, he didn't, he wants to, he wants to see you again in, like, your dress or something. I don't know. 
strength, like, she, <laughs> and, like, you were not, I don't know, like, you did something that you did not ever think, like, you were just doing even the dishes or something, and he's gonna come from behind you, I just, I feel you feeling his boner, the strength card, mm -hmm. you don't understand it a little bit, you see how the strength card is kind of, like, he's, like, touching his hair, it's like, he's obsessed with you, maybe, okay, uh, okay, so we got Europe, you guys are maybe traveling, and he just gets in the mood, I thought you were jet lag. No, it's like he starts to kiss you like really hard. Whoa. Tell right. me about Washington, D.C. Take as you well. I mean, I've been watching you like, whoa. Maybe something about an audience as well or a stage or like a student teacher situation. Like something about carrots. Someone's eating carrots in the environment. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Maybe you're you're farming even. I don't know. You're doing something. It's not the setting we would one would expect, you know, the birds and the bees like. They never thought that it would happen, like, right when y'all are getting thrifty, you're thrifting in the thrift, sh thrift shop. What's that song? Something thrift shop? Da 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 your thrift on. <laughs> what kind of fucking... <laughs> oh god, I pick up a lion is that? Fuck the lion. I'm just gonna pick her up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive up there. I don't know. Yeah. He had a vibe. He had a thought. He had a vision of you, like, in your, in your white dress. Thrifting. You're maybe at the farmer's market or something. I don't know. What? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you're just so thrown the hell off. I didn't know that you liked that. Okay. I'll, I'll, I know now. Okay, some of bananas. Maybe you even posted something, like, on your social media. Hey, Isaac. Ooh, Angel. It's like he was watching you maybe out at sea even, and then he's gonna swim over to you. That's a feel. Okay. So, yeah, Six of Cups. Yeah, he even maybe, like, saw you getting angry even, or, I don't know, you were working, and he got very turned on. It's like he liked the way you... He likes the way you talk to the children. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> you could be a school teacher. It's like. I see um, sewing thread. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So maybe he got turned on because he saw you like doing it with yourself. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I see he has like a very. Suddenly his, his necktie is very tight. I see a big cross. He has to, like, loosen his necktie. It's, like, it's not convenient for him. He has to drive back to work, but, like, yeah. So, something you did. I see flowers. I see... We just return in the heart chakra. I'm here in camel toe. Okay, whoa. Well, um... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, all right. Um, I think maybe we're... Are we ready for the eighth house now? Because <laughs> if this is the seventh house, it's already, it's already feeling kind of eight. Kind of like eight. So once we get to eight, it's probably gonna be nice. We get a head start, right? So okay, let's let's do it. Let's do it. It's like maybe you're even a bit reach just return in the crowd. Maybe you're a little bit like um bashful. It's like, oh my god, something about Mike Tyson. He's coming at you like a uh, Mike Tyson. A minute ago he was looking a little bit more maybe like I'm hearing Mr. Bean, and then suddenly he got I don't know this he got this this rush, um this rush. Okay, his libido. Some of the libido. I'm hearing. See what he's starting to have these visions. Like I'm feeling he left here. Something about Greece. He just got into the mood. Like he suddenly got in the mood. He wanted to like make love to you even. Okay. Yeah, the star. He maybe had a vibe and maybe he told you. I'm hearing Neil. He told you like he just sees you as a friend or something, and then out of nowhere, like his pickle pop. You know, like when you have to open the jar of pickles and like just open and maybe you were saying something and it like turn him on. You didn't know that shit was turning him on. It's like I was just talking about pickles. It's like yeah, yeah, girl, you, 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 you need to know, like, what that does to me. It's like, okay. <laughs> what? It's like, when you were talking mathematics and square roots, it's like, he had to get to the root of the problem here, why he's not with you. It's like, and he realizes it's in his very hand, so he just got his car, his keys, and he just stepped on that, and he just took the shoulder lane all the way back to your, to your home. I just saw you, though, earlier today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it looks weird in the crown on the left side. Okay, okay, guys, sorry. I think I'm boring. Is this, is this boring, anybody? It's like, maybe you're, you're boring. I thought it was boring. What? It's like, he's like... 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's doing something. Some of you, he even called you while you're at school or something. And, like, you're, you're, he acted like one of your students or something. He wanted to have one of your, um, guys, some of you, he's masturbating while you're at work. Like, while you're at work, it's turning him on. Like, I don't know, maybe even you're a teacher and he can see you. What? I mean, that sounds too weird. He, he can see you. Some of you, you're a teacher. There's some students. Maybe they're even, they find you very attractive. And then they're going into, yeah, some of you, oh, I don't know. It's like you've been in class. It may be in class. Like, some of them, they're getting kind of horny in class. Just saying, that's for someone, okay? Yeah. So some of you, though, he's calling you, like, do I have any callers? It's like someone's calling in, like, on the radio. Um, he's going to call in. Maybe you guys were sexting. Okay. Or he thought that you were directing something to him. And that just got him. Something about jeans. It's just clear to the back. Lower, lower, like low cut jeans. The moon, the four of swords, the ace of cups. Some of you thought he even forgot about you. It's like, I think he just forgot about me, so. Maybe you started, like, burping and farting. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were going on a different tangent of energy, and then he maybe did a circle. <laughs> this is, like, the Leo read. It's like, oh, I guess he's not home anymore. So you started just picking your nose, farting, burping, and then you're just doing your home stuff. I don't know. And then it's, like, knock, knock. It's like, what is he doing here? <laughs> yeah, just so you know. But then he found it kind of sexy. Some of you, this man maybe likes to voyeur. It could be... Like, he likes seeing you not think that you think he's not home or whatever. Some of you, maybe he walked. Oh, oh, Lord. I don't know. Just return the snake roll. He walked in on you, like, something but a razor. He walked in on the bathroom. You thought maybe he left the house, and then he got turned on by that. I don't know, y'all. I gotta go. That's what he said. And then you thought that that's what he said. And then he returned with that some of that. Well, what? That's what she says. And then he started kissing you. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Someone may pop up. <laughs> They're not gone. Anyways. Let's get into the next sign of uh, Scorpio. In the, in the, return. Okay, so we already got to do some clearing here. Right off the, some of you coming in straight into the sun and Taurus, like, this is not going to work. I need to know, like, why his leg is on her. I'm hearing it like that. Oh, man. You're going to figure out maybe someone is not with fidelity here in mind. Judgment in reverse. <sighs> Someone was also acting like they were a cheater, but they're not. That's what I hear. I'm getting that they, yep, that's what I'm getting, that this person actually was, um, the lie was that they were not loyal to you, but they really were. I don't know, this sounds like a dog or a human. Okay. So, Scorpio, clear to the back. I've seen something about Capricorn. You saw some a picture. It's like a misunderstanding. It's not what you think. Like, someone was under the impression that someone cheated on them. It's like, no, it's not. That's not what it looks like. Something about, like, you saw something. You found a picture. It's not accurate, Scorpio, though. Um, something about Taurus and Capricorn. You could be a Scorpio. You were really under the impression of something here. You got very angry um, with the Ten of Swords and the Emperor. The hanged man. Some of you started to just honestly just start to just, yeah, let this person go in your mind. You started to maybe get ready to break up with them even after this this news or whatever. And like, guys, return, just return. Whatever they did was really like a just a breaking point for you or whatever you found or you assume they did. Yeah, you even, like, thought this person was, like, masturbating to someone else's content other than you. And that really got you, like, you, you assume that's it. And I'm out of here with the Seven of Swords. Um, or you thought that this person, like, was checking someone out. Or this something? No, I think it's, like, they're not in your midst when you have this. Maybe you catch something else. It's a misunderstanding, you guys. And it's not true. Like, that's actually not the case. Uh, some of you here, um, yeah, there's a misunderstanding. Okay, just returning the sacral. Like, you thought that he was, like... Maybe even it was a vibe. You just picked up on something. You're like, that's it. I think he's, like, hooking up with her right now. Oh, my God. There's a guy in the, in the alley. He's doing circles with his hands like that. You're, like, ready to just go into the alley and do the hand circles like that. It's like, you're about to go crazy. Okay? That's it. No, I'm about to blow. I'm about to bust the cap. 
you were gonna fire this person, break up, that's it, I know what you're doing, and then you're gonna realize, like, some of you, it's not that, like, an example, he's not, like, having sex with another person, maybe he's masturbating, or maybe he's, it's not that he's, you know, looking at, uh, let's say, maybe it's porn, you think he's looking at porn, maybe he was actually looking at your picture, you know, there's something, misunderstanding, it's not actually maybe what you feel, so... Some of you, you cried really hard about this, and then you were just going to leave his ass in the dust. Someone here has, like, big he earrings, like a big hoop earring. I see it as a, um, the, actually, it's like a circle that makes their ear big. Like, how do I say this? The earring is not hanging. It's like, some of you it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, they have a lot of, like, those circles in their ears. Did we just go like that? <laughs> some of you, you just, like, were really upset at someone. You weren't even willing to hear them out. That's it. No, I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I already know everything. The, the Four of Wands in reverse, you kind of maybe assume, Scorpio, that you knew, like, how this person felt about something here or whatever. So you felt like he didn't really like um, your hookup even. And it's like, that's it. You don't appreciate me. Something like that. I'm here something about a foot job. I don't know. Oh, my God. What? Okay. So I see those cactus flowers. Cactus flowers. Okay. I think they're edible. Mirror dancer. No, you're into her. That's okay. I already understood. Bye. Go get out, get out of my face. I don't know. You really got very upset at this person. Holy shit. The five of wands. You started maybe even to get a uh, he heads up uh, on your spell work. You're banishing spells. Okay, that's it. On Tuesday, I'm going to go see the... Yeah, I'm going to see the Reiki healer, and I'm going to clear him off of my aura, and I'm going to use the windshield wiper down, right right down the backside of his, yeah, his gorilla's, her, his gorilla back. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. There's something I'm having a vision of here. Uh, who's the werewolf? He has a very hairy back, where at nighttime he turns into a werewolf. It's like, that's it. Maybe you thought he was a cheater. Like, there's something, guys, I'm telling you, like, it is not accurate, okay? You feel it's, like, really like that, but it's not. Someone's a skater. Skateboard. I see a pumpkin here. I keep seeing that like a small little cactus plant it's like a circular plant some of you you were you were really getting very angry you're like should i go like fucking to set his car on fire oh my god oh whoa scorpio some of you maybe you felt he was cheating but he was watching porn but i mean hey you know i don't know i have my vi my my yeah something but a vibrator you're like listen i got my vibrator too i can do that too i don't know you felt he was lying to you like you felt it was behind your back okay now, um, so you feel it's, like, on the down low that he's not actually as into you as he says he is, or you can feel, or you have the suspicion that he's, clear that he's not being honest, that he actually has a crush on somebody else. It's, like, I feel like you have a crush on her, I'm hearing that. Oh, man, that's the worst. King of Pentacles. Like, you feel they're not being honest. Jade! No. Yeah, what's this Nine of Cups? Maybe you see his eyes get big when he sees her. It's like, no, oh wait, Seven of Cups. Someone maybe has like um, an addiction or something, possibly to porn, or they're lying to you about that. Can I see a little bit here? What was Scorpio, what was Scorpio thinking? What was Scorpio upset about? Like, that maybe you didn't know that there wasn't an openness and honesty about something here that you thought there needs to be. It's like, okay, at least tell me, like, if you're going to do that. Um... You felt maybe even that they were sort of squirting with you. Now, let's return it. I'm seeing roller skates. Or you thought he said he was going here, but he's actually going there. It's like, well, then why did I feel that when you were going there? No, no, no. Listen, I see a dog here. You feel you're coming down to something like that's what it's got to be. The three of wands and the knight of pentacles. Now, what was it actually? What is this actually? This nine of cups spirit with the seven of cups, please. What is it actually? The fool. He definitely wasn't talking about whatever this is. I feel like it's something that just wasn't talked about, and that's part of why it's, like, this, like, mystery vibe. The Three of Swords here with the King of Wands and the Chariot in reverse. I think it is something sexual. Like, I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is something sexual. Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the Five of Cups. It's something sexual. Um... He's feeling guilty maybe about this or like you're picking up on his his own subconscious guilt. Some of you, maybe even there is like an interest in the opposite. Gen uh, um, maybe. OK, let's give an example. He says he's like heterosexual, but he maybe has like fantasies about homosexual things. And then maybe you're picking up on that. And you think that he's like uh, feeling you're picking up on his guilt about something. OK, mm hmm. You're definitely feeling him. I think that it's not that you're, like, going crazy, Scorpio. You're very, very intuitive. I'm hearing Capricorn. You can feel him, like, doing something or something like that, okay? 
Yeah, he feels like, um, see, you're picking up, it's like when a predator can feel the prey is scared. Like, you're smelling that, um, like, even, like, a lack of confidence. He's not, I'm seeing wings here. Like, wings. Leather, leather wings. I don't know what that means. Okay. Keep seeing a dog here. Like, a brown dog. Um, maybe it's, like, a harness. I see a harness here. A page of Pentacles leather harness. Yeah, guys, this does have to do with with sex but i don't think it's like the extent of what you okay hold up i think you thought he was maybe like um fantasizing maybe about another girl or something okay like he was definitely uh i do think that he was like okay okay some of you maybe just need to know he was definitely like ejaculating right? this is no question about that like these cards are, are spelling that out but the queen of pentacles you know for some of you it, it's not i just say it again like it's not what you think it is it's different so whatever you're thinking it is it's different some of you like you maybe yeah maybe you thought that he was out with another girl but he was maybe watching porn okay return to center clear throw chakra clear and throw chakra on the crown some of you, it's something he said, I'm not doing that, but he is doing it. Like, he said, I'm hearing something about Israel. Like, he said, I'm not going to look at that anymore, but then he is. And you're feeling, like, maybe that he's feeling guilty. The Page of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles upright and the King of Swords upright. He can also be feeling some kind of pressure here. That dog sounds like a, like a gorilla. Oh, my God. He's, like, barking, like, really hard. God. Give me a sec, guys. All I know is you're ready to dump him. Okay. Um, whatever this is, it's making you feel, like, really uncomfortable. Yeah. Some of... Return. It can be an ex, even. Like, he said, I'm not talking to her. Or, like, he still fantasized about his ex. But for some of you with the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. King of Swords of Right. I think some of you, what you don't like is that he's kind of trying to hide it. Like... Whatever it is, it's not openly talked about. And that's what's and that's not gonna work for Scorpio. Pluto is not like, oh yeah, sure, like you know, keep it under the surface, right? No. <laughs> Scorpio, no, no. No, no. Is what I say now when 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 you ask me to marry you. Like, that's gonna be a no. Like, I don't see a future with you anymore. Like, this is not gonna work because you are um lurking. I hear that as well. Like you're hiding now. Whether or not whatever it is, it's just the lurking energy, period. It's not like maybe necessarily even if it's like maybe he's fantasizing about you, you know? But still, you're like, I I, I don't like that. I don't like the feeling that we're not open with each other. The Queen of Wands of right. That will drive Pluto insane. You know, you dance around Pluto and gaslight Pluto as well. That's not going to work because Pluto knows and Pluto knows something going on. And it's like if you make it harder and harder for Pluto, that's like the High Priestess and the Devil card. If you guys remember that. Yeah, them running around each other. Just in the crown. Some of you, you assumed what this is and you just acted like on that basis you deleted like all his pictures all his social media everything i see um you acted based on what it is maybe you saw something you heard something yeah yeah some of you walked in on him even doing something i don't know with the page of wands the king of swords like some of you he's maybe hooking up with another masculine so maybe you were shocked to see that part but um you know you thought he was cheating with another girl but it's like then you walked in and he's like yeah, um, he, yeah, he's humping and bumping with, you know, his, uh, yeah, I don't know, his, yeah, his, some bit of mask, 
Okay, so let's get into the next reading, Scorpio. Uh, we'll get more on members as to the extent of that message. Thank you for your support on this channel, Sagittarius. Welcome. Are you ready? Some of you going to travel soon. In the crown. <laughs> Clear the energy. I'm here in Samson. So you're going to um, openly talk about something with someone. Like, you're going to clarify um, something with someone here. I'm here. No, I wasn't mad at you. Like, um, it wasn't a bad thing. I'm hearing that as well. Like, we aren't, um, we aren't, uh, like, not seeing eye to eye with this. Um, maybe someone here feels they made it seem otherwise. Like, I felt like I didn't say what I needed to say to you to make my, to explain my perspective more cohesively. I was kind of darting around. I hear that. Now, some of you, um, you're going to, okay, this is just coming through. You're going to make out with someone. Okay. I don't know. Super specific. Maybe you dating someone and you guys haven't gone to that point yet. Some of you are going to start getting more um, sensual. Someone wants to um, travel with you, Sagittarius. Some of you are going to go to the movie theater. You may kiss in the movie theater. Some of you, you're going to go somewhere together. Um, this person wants to stick their hand in your dress. What? Um, this person's having fantasies about you. Like, while you guys are at the, on the date, they want to, like, kind of run their hand, like, down your pants. Oh my God. They want to hook up. Okay, so we got third party in reverse on the tower up right. You and this person, this person, maybe ha you have a history, and, like, they feel like they made, they feel that they made you feel that they don't really see you as, like, the most, like, the most important thing in the room right there. Like, you maybe, um... Maybe you gave the impression off that you were sad or something, or you were um, impacted by something they said or did. They want to clarify. Like, I didn't mean it like that. I heard that even. It says, what's your man's name? Someone may be assuming, given that you're not single, Sagittarius. It says, you're fine. What's your man's name? Like, this person, um, they maybe came off even like a, like a playboy, like a fuckboy. Like, oh, I'm just here for a hookup. Like... Um, but they want to come back and be like, no, I'm not here for a hookup. Okay. I do like you and I like you. It says, I want to make love to you. I like you more than also just like this make out. Maybe even you guys made out and it's like, you thought it was just going to end there. Maybe you thought that they were checking other people out even on the day. Like they had a wandering eye even, or something of that sort. I see a feather, but yeah, like they want to talk to you maybe more and you're surprised. Um, return it. They're self-conscious about their own behavior with you. Like I acted gross even i'm hearing that hooked up with her and then i just left i'm hearing that okay so or they think that you would think that they're gross like i don't blame her if she thinks i'm just a gross playboy like the way i acted oh my god there's this little car it's like a mario car <laughs> it's really small <laughs> interesting so um can we get a little bit here please spirit three deacons for sagittarius something about a car they're gonna drive by and pick you up i hear that okay that's like a libra read you thought i'm hearing a song i'm still in love with you Paramore. Da -da 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 butterflies. I'm into you. I'm into you. Th they want to tell you, like, it's more than that. I can love you like that. I don't want to just kiss you. Like, I hope you don't think I just... You guys met at a rave or a party, and, like, it was very short-term, short-lived. And, like, he wants to find your phone number and call you after that, though. Nine of Swords, um, Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. There's something about family, something about travel. Maybe he gave the impression that he wasn't willing to, like, hang out with you or drive far to hang out with you. Could be long distance. You met, like, in a city neither one of you are from. And he's acted in a way, like, he, he feels he kind of told you, like, there's no potential because of this uh, factor. Like, oh, we both, some, saying something along the lines, um, uh, saying something that emulates, we are not going to be together, obviously, because we're not from the same place. Something like that. But he wants to come back and explain, like, I didn't mean it like that. Anyways. So he could have been acting strange because there was another factor. He didn't tell you about his family was in the environment. Um, they do want to be with you. They're going to explain that in the third deacon. You'll know by the end of that third deacon. Thank you, Sagittarius, for tuning in. We'll see you in the next reading. We're going to now get into the next and following sign of Capricorn. Clearing the heart chakra, clearing the throat chakra. Someone feels bad about how they treated you, Capricorn. They feel they disrespected you. They feel like they're looking back on their own behavior. Like, that was disrespectful, and I don't like myself right now. I don't like who I was back there with her. Five of Pentacles upright. They feel they owe you. Okay. 
If this person is very attractive, this is how you know who they are. Maybe they are very even charming. They can get in and out of situations rather easily. Um, they feel that they played you a bit even, okay? Like they feel they got themselves out of the situation in a really unfair way. Oh shit, with the Queen of Swords. They um, even convinced you of something and it's like, I don't feel good about that. Like I kind of got myself out of this. It's like they need to come back and kind of like start over with you. Return and throw shock around here and start from ground zero, ground one. He, like, ran away from you, even, or she, they. Someone um, dismissed you, and, like, they were chivalrous or charming with it. Chivalrous. <laughs> How do you dismiss someone in a chivalrous way? Well, it's like, well, let me tell you. Yeah, they were kind of cheesy, maybe, or, like, a little fake, and uh, even I'm hearing obnoxious. They're looking back. They think they're obnoxious. I see a plastic bug flying in the air. So um, they felt like, yeah, they gave you even a cheap gift. It's like, and they got away with it. They feel cheesy and corny. Like, I feel slimy. Like, I lied and I got away with it. I don't know. Something like that, you know? They feel they could have done much better. And they just kind of just did what they could. The King of Cups. Three of Cups. They didn't over-deliver. It's like, it felt flat. Like, some of you, maybe it's during sex. They didn't last that long. And they feel kind of weird about that. Um, they just kind of, like, got up. I hear that even. Okay. So they realize they didn't please you, possibly. They're feeling a little bit self-conscious. Um, it's in the back of their mind. If Even if you go on another date. I'm, oh, no. I'm hearing sorry. Hey, hello. It's like, maybe you stopped picking up the phone. Maybe the behavior was not good. And they start to think, oh, shit. Yeah, they're thinking back on what, all what they did. They could have, like, a shadow Aries. Maybe they're sometimes selfish. They don't quite. Yeah. It's like, unless, like, mm-hmm. You bite them back, and they're like, whoa, why you bite me? Oh, shit, did I bite you? Did I bite you and not realize it? It's like, yeah. You had my hand in your mouth for, like, four minutes. I don't know. There's something going on. Maybe it's sexual. It's like, yeah, I was just letting her please me the whole night. I don't know. Anyways, chariot. Yeah. This is embarrassing. Maybe they were even a bit under the influence, and it's like, oh, shit, was I talking too much? I was talking the whole night. and let you talk. Yeah, something like that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, so... Someone has glasses on. It's very squinty outside. It's like he was letting you stand in the sun and the sun was in your eyes. And you're squinting like it's like, oh, shit. Like he's thinking back on that. God, it's, some of you, it's a physical thing. I didn't please her. I'm hearing that. Oh, God, what was I doing? Like he 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 just like he, you know, had his own moment. It's like and then, yeah, something about someone's mouth, though. And someone was biting someone. I don't know. Eight of, eight of one. Just returned on back. You're in. Hey, hello. Like, I'm sorry. Like. I know, I realize, like, I was having you lick all the envelopes, but what about, yeah, you're right, like, what about me? Like, I should have also, like, worked at that. I don't know. You were licking envelope after envelope, like, you were doing all the work for something here. Return, return it. Yeah, some of you, this is physical. Like, maybe you were going down on this person and there was no reciprocity, and, like, they kind of realized it after, and they just walked off, though. It, 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 was, it was a little selfish. It's like, oh, okay, I mean... That was, nah, like, I was sitting there for, like, 40 minutes, and you, I thought at least he would have, like, reciprocated that, and then he just got up. It's like, okay, this is not respectful behavior. Um, that's what I hear. Like, he thought he wasn't respectful. Some of you, it's a work thing. He felt kind of unprofessional after that. Oh, shit, like, I just left a mess, even. Yeah, mm-hmm. The Ten of Swords. Anyways, anyways, the Knight of Wands, yes. Yeah. So, he's, like... Coming from this energy of, I don't blame you if you are not attracting me right now. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, he was in his, like, full satisfaction and pleasures. And then after that, it was like, so, yeah, what's for dinner? It's like, you didn't please me back, bro. What? I hear it like that. It was a very specific message for somebody. Mm -hmm. He had his sunglasses on during sex. You maybe felt like you guys weren't getting intimate. And it's like, he, you were trying to tell him that's, like, rude. Like, we need to make eye contact while we're making love. Anyways, it's very specific. Like, yeah, his concentration was somewhere else. Guys, do we like this reading, by the way? Hit the like button and let me know if it resonates. I feel it's going on and on. I feel like I'm just very boring right now. Sorry, everybody. Uh, if that's the case, it's like, um, mm -hmm. it's like, he's not making eye contact with you. I'm hearing, why are you, like, acting like I'm not attractive? It's all about you. Does this person have a shadow Leo Aries, by any chance? With Taurus? Like, he's kind of, uh, it's like, it's like the whole show is for him or something. It's like, okay, we're both in this love story and he gets kind of confused like oh that's right yeah no yeah true true were you happy i don't know it's like selfish some of you may feel that it's kind of irredeemable even hmm. i see a cactus it's like yeah i mean can we think about like the little like little things like the details like the little dots got to connect them right like 
You also, I don't know, like, that hurt. I told you that hurt. I don't know. This person wasn't shaving their stubble on their chin, and, like, maybe they were, like, down there, and it was, like, bothering you. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something that was not thoughtful. Hey, I gotta, like, talk to you. It's like, yeah, I realize, and you realize now that you gotta talk to me. Okay, that's good. So what do you want to talk about? It's like, no, no, I, I need to say sorry. Like, they do ad admit... This person, um, maybe they sometimes come off a little bit Don Juan. They're coming off a bit like um, a Don Juan, okay? Like, they can... It's almost like, oh, that's it. Like, I, yeah, I have to work very hard because I'm sexy. Something like that. Um, but then they realize, I need to, like, come back and, like, really make that one that one right. I'm hearing that one. Page of Pentacles. Like, he thought that you were just in ecstasy and pleasure just, like, being there with him. <laughs> I mean, wow. This person... Yeah, maybe he even thought that you did have an orgasm, but you didn't. It's like, why did you stop? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we should talk a little bit about sex here. Tarot sex ed right here right now. Because, well, sometimes, I don't know, y'all. Like, men, I'll just be very honest. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, sometimes, like, when you are, like, close. Oh, my God. I can't believe we're talking about this right now. Is anybody going to stop me? I'm going to wait in the chat. Y'all are just going to sit there and just let me go on. Like, okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. Like, when we get to that point, like, when girls get to that point, like, I don't know what's with it. Like, then they slow down. Like, I don't know anymore. I got to go. This is too awkward. I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to tell you that, like, you didn't do it right. I don't know. You know, I don't want to tell you, like, that's weird. Like, I have to come and tell you, like, hi, like, you didn't do it. Maybe this person's not reading your body language. He's not reading you. He, you're not in touch. You're not in tune. He's more, like, there. He thinks this is, like, kind of maybe, like, porn or something. Yeah, I'm just here and, like, I'm pouring in your cup. It doesn't really matter how, but I'm just here. It's like, what? No, 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 no. We got to spend more time on kissing and foreplay and all that. Even, I don't know. Okay. Fully awkward. I feel awkward. <laughs> Maybe you did feel awkward. Mm -hmm. Like, what am I doing here? You felt like you started to become a little bit like his little, like, du dungeon sex princess, princess, dun dungeon princess or something. Like, it turned into, like, okay, he's just allowing me to just spend the whole night pleasing him. I mean, what? <laughs> you were like that. I see a lollipop, like, like a lollipop. It's like... Yeah, but, like, there are also other types of candies at the candy shop, you know? It's like, maybe he was... Some of you, he was trying to tell you what would please you. And it's like, I'm telling you that doesn't feel good to me. And he's like, no, no, trust me. It's like, what? No, but I'm telling you now. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to achieve orgasm like that. I hear like this. You had to get kind of honest with him. Maybe it's a little bit ego. It's like, he doesn't like to be told even that, like, he's not pleasing you. It's like, or he gives you that energy and you felt like you couldn't talk. Okay, whatever. I gotta go. I, yeah, you maybe faked orgasm and then you just went home and you took a shower. It's like, that's it. I'm going to take some, yeah. So maybe he was really hurting you and it's like, hi, I'm not turned on. That hurt. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm going to go and do my, you want, you, at this point you prefer to do your homework. It's like, I gotta go home. Gotta do my work. It wasn't fun. No, I didn't like that. I'm hearing it like this. Just clear it. Oh my God. Maybe his mind is in the gutter even, you know? It's like, he was even dirty talking to you, but it wasn't your style, it wasn't your type. It's like, I don't get turned on by that. Like, why are you talking to me like that? I don't know. He was telling, so, saying something, and it was, I for some of you, it wasn't feeling good. It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. I don't, no, I don't like this. And he was, but he was into it. Like, it's like, okay, this is just... <sighs> some of you even started to push him away. <laughs> Maybe he was in, in the mood. He's not seeing something clearly here. It's like, uh, I'm kind of saying, like, get off of me even. Okay. Return it. Yeah. So maybe he was even pushing you, possibly. Like, okay, this is a plus 18. He was, like, pushing your head or something. I don't know. This was, no. And at a certain point, you're like, stop. Like, he wasn't respecting you, okay? Yeah, you need to stop. Stop. Yeah, he, but it's like, but this was about his pleasure. It's like, ew, return it. You see a lot. You see people's nature. Yeah, you see you do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Page of Wands. It's like, yeah, he was like, yeah, girl, yeah, that's right. You got it. That's exactly what I like. It's like, what about me, though? What do you mean, yeah, that's right, like, you got it? It's like, this is called lovemaking. This is not like, yeah, you, like, your, 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 tur your turn always. It's like, your turn. It's like, some of you, even, like, you felt like he wanted to, like, kind of, uh, some of you, he wanted to do stuff that just wasn't for you. Like, he wanted to maybe even watch porn while you guys are making love or something. It was like, it's like, it's all, like, his, like, palace of pleasure. It's like, what are we doing right now? 
he some of you even wanted to do a threesome he started to say stuff during sex that blew your freaking mind it's like you are what are you saying oh my god i could never imagine he would say that oh oh my god he started yeah i remember like this one guy hooked up with just clear don't worry somebody um i don't know should we talk about a spirit <sighs> during during the the moment of all things he said something like um i don't know y'all he just said something and i was like what like he revealed his own like um fetishes even that just was not compatible with me like i that doesn't turn me on like he kind of just started to show his true colors a little bit even you know like in his own world and his own energy he said something like yeah like you're on the pole girl <laughs> i was like what no, that turned into a talk. <laughs> no, excuse me. What? <laughs> it's like, ew. No, no. For me, like, I'm not that person, but you're sort of like projecting that onto me. So you want to be with a pole dancer? Go be with a pole dancer. I'm not, I'm not dancing on no pole here. <laughs> Don't tell me who and what I'm like. Ew, what? Okay. That really turned me the fuck off. That turned me way the hell off. Okay. But, like, for him, it's, like, so you realize, like, you guys are maybe on different pages just returning. I'm not saying anything. You could be a pole dancer, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't like that for myself in a sex, like, or in a relationship or whatever we're doing. I don't really know what we were doing, but the point is, like, you know, you realize that he's seeing you as someone you're not. It's, like, that's not who I am, okay? It's, like, he started to project to you that you're, like, even, like, a porno figure or whatever. Wow, you look just like this porn girl. I don't know. He maybe told you that. It's like, hey, no, I don't want to even, like, hear that. What are you saying? He said something like, "You would you ever do, like, a porno with your sister? It's like, what? He, okay, maybe for someone it works, but, like, I feel for you. Like, I, this is my experience with this person. Like, it may be applicable for some of you. Like, this is my, my example. Maybe it's, like, similar to what you're feeling now. That like, you weren't compatible with whatever he said. It's like, oh, no. No, I thought we were making love. I'm not pole dancing. Excuse me. <laughs> no. You need to kind of maybe for some of you really turn the lights down. Trust me after that, you know? Yeah, I was like, hold on a second. Like, get off of me, you know? Type of energy. Like, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to do this anymore. You, what are you thinking? No, no, I need to maybe get more in your head, okay? Rather than in your pants right now. Like, we need to talk. Like, who really are you? I mean, like, what do you really want? Like, these people talk, like, uh, totally differently during sex. Some pe sometimes it's better. Sometimes they're, you know, more emotional, very, very, um, you know, but, but it's like, sometimes, no, like you see stuff about this person. They're not willing to, they're not brave enough to say in their day to day. It's like, are, what do you want? Yeah. So maybe, maybe he even says something like that. He knows, like, I don't know, you know, like it really, some of you was very much a turnoff and it possibly even really hurt your feelings. It's like, I thought that you, I don't know. So anyways, are we, what sign are we on? Capricorn. I thought this was Scorpio for a second. So maybe, yeah, you're dealing with a Scorpio or... Like, some of you, he's pushy too. It's like he told you, he knows that if he told that to you when you're dating on the first date, you know? Like, I mean, yeah, if he switched, what's your favorite color with, would you ever have a threesome with your sister and me together? It's like um that uh yeah you probably would not have gone to that point to experiment with what he was doing with you in that moment sexually and so he i think some of you was strategic with that okay he definitely was not talking to you about those things until this moment okay and that was like a huge shock to you even it's like wait who are you i feel like you really start to learn about this person in that moment it's like really un un unsettling uncomfortable um justice in reverse and like i think he even says i thought you would like that it's like what <laughs> no you don't not know me apparently and why would you assume it's silly it's stupid i think he was making excuses you guys whoever this is in the moment like you know he felt like he couldn't backpedal some of you he does have fetishes and he's maybe not being honest with you and um i think you guys need to talk a little bit yeah maybe we need to stop having sex and talk and like some of you you really got very turned off and you backpedaled and it's like i don't also have to find that attractive like he's trying to force you to find something attractive it's like he's got a fucking entity he has an entity incubus succubus and he's watching some porn and he wants to make you that person it's like no take me as i am or let me let me yeah let me close the door in your face right now it says my house my home get out of my get out of my energy i don't I don't want you here. Some of you realize you're not compatible with this person. Next read. Aquarius, what's up? Fool reverse. Someone was not honest to you. They lied to you. Return it. I'm here straight from the heart. You're going to realize someone's a total liar. Could even be a boss, someone you work with. Just in the heart chakra, just in the sacral. Just clear the energy. I'm here in. Oh my God. Like maybe even this person stood you up. Uh, they said they're going to be here at this time, that time. Then they just, yeah, they're not keeping up to that secret, to that secret there. Oh, maybe they promised you I'm not going to tell anyone this. They lied. They lied. 
<sighs> Some of you, they're not strong. This person, you realize their character's not brave. They're not able to be uh, on the same page with you, okay? Like, return it to the back. They're not um, who you thought they were, okay? It could be overlapping with Cap's read. Um, there's a sexual undertone to that read, though. Okay, so the Nine of Wands, something about a sock. Maybe even, like, you hired this person. They're doing really horribly for your reputation. It's like, you're embarrassing me. You're supposed to make my reputation, like, better, not worse. Um, maybe this person is kind of, like, it's giving me, you think that they're possibly a little bit, they're not your type. They're not your style. A little bit gaudy. They're not making you feel, like, empowered and, like, good about yourself. Um, they're kind of embarrassing you. The Hangman in reverse and the Ace of Cups upright. So you, um, you want to end this, uh, program or whatever this is like it's like yeah you feel you got enough uh, maybe you've been like interviewed someone you got enough of this uh vibe and i don't think it's for you okay i think you're gonna let someone go you maybe even fire someone or you're gonna just have to kind of make this person really somehow know that like really how you feel um there's no negotiation here there's no like i see a, fa a fire here like a flame there's maybe no passion anymore. Or like you, um, you feel like you kind of know that you cannot trust this person or something like that. So, um, can I get, um, or yeah, let's get some oracles. Some of you, you maybe date someone and then when you're on the date, you hear something about them, like maybe they have kids and that's just not going to work for you. Or, you know, maybe they, um, or they don't want kids and that's not going to work for you. You know, there's something like that. I'm hot for you. You're not my type. Can we explore kinks? Yeah. Something maybe even was too fast, too quick. And, you're going to zoom out, see the macro, and you're going to be very, very grounded and very, very brave with sort of addressing what you know the long term speaks to here. And, and maybe um, it doesn't speak too much of what you, you know, you resonate with uh, in terms of looking at your future. It's someone you can't get serious with. Someone you can't see seriously. Pisces. You can't feel comfortable. I hear that as well. Um, Pisces. Dream. Someone is going to admit something to you about how they have been dreaming about you. That's what I hear. Okay, here. Seeking help. Someone here really... Um, kind of reject they painted a picture okay that um that there's like a there's more to that and i feel like they're, they're at first they were kind of cold with you even and then i see they're going to come in with this dream card they're going to sort of um make a circle here to you with something like they know they know pisces that they were not honest with you with something they know that they were not upfront with you on something i think it's not like so much a lying thing but it could be it's more um you know, um, the emotional, the emotional sensations here, they're going to get more emotive. They're going to get expressive with you. They're going to be vulnerable. Okay. They're going to be a, in a surrender space of surrender. They were more strategic here with the reject card. Maybe they even like strategize, like pushing you away. You know, they, they, they plan that it was more like logical, maybe even, um, yeah, some of you, they were in a totally different energy. It sounds like they were under the influence, possibly even of some kind of social pressure. Maybe their friends were sort of like, bro, you're not going to be dating her, are you? Whoa, you're not, you don't see a long term with her, do you? Uh, you don't really see him as like some, some, someone you would want to settle down. It's like someone was in their ear or there was some influence, like a factor, like a contextual factor, um, a contextual factor that was really um, giving them like a reputation of someone they're not really. You know, I think that they know that that's understandable. Um, you know, maybe you're dealing, uh, maybe this is someone here who you had even some series of experiences with and they do want to sort of even possibly apologize. Like, hey, I wasn't in my right mind back there. Sorry if it came off like that and it's not accurate. Like that's not who I am. With distilling liquor, reject, they felt kind of framed even. Now, some of you, they just did not ever show you or tell you something, and they feel like now is the time. I have to tell you how I feel. Um, yeah, fake death in reverse. This person is doing a circle right back. Uh, back to you, Pisces. We have Prince Escalos. They, they separated maybe even from you. Maybe they kind of... Um, were slightly mixed signal hot cold they stepped away they kind of um retreated and now they are here to re-emerge um some of you they have something specific they want to tell you though yep that dream and wooing maybe even like you know you were like hey i love you and they didn't they didn't say anything back they didn't reciprocate it's like now they're coming in with that i love you uh return it it's kind of like a wave you know here it comes it's giving me a little bit of a libra read as well where you were like gardening you're distracted and this person's gonna pop up so um yeah there's something here love for sight they want to admit something even to you it sounds like they were not ever vulnerable they were not ever really at that point with themselves like they are going to tell you i was immature like i there's no way i could have told you honestly at that moment like how i felt for you they didn't have the vocabulary they didn't have the bravery they didn't have um the paint okay to accurately depict that experience and that emotion you're making them feel secret help kiss and reverse you're making them feel really strongly too that makes me think of gemini's read pisces do yourself a favor please go check out gemini's read you probably have strong gemini here if this is your resonating message oath of the moon upright yeah you're gonna get a letter here this is 
is going to be really sweet. Some of you are going to be very, um, you'll be sort of taken aback, like you'll feel a little bashful here. Um, returned unless I body. Yeah, someone's going to sort of like show a gratitude for you. Okay. Like, I, uh, yeah, I really do uh, appreciate you. And it's like, whoa, okay. That was the last thing I was expecting to see. Dark deal. Maybe someone's going to pop up and like send you an email. Or a letter, okay? I mean, I am hearing the name Natalie here. Take his volume of Pisces. Take his volume. Who am I going to be hitting up? <laughs> Lord, okay. <laughs> yeah, so who do I owe more vulnerability to? Some of you, uh, return it. Then, yeah, that's... Some of you, maybe maybe it is you, but um, yeah, maybe you're like, oh, you know, you can't even expect who this is. It's someone with you, though, I feel. I mean, you bring Alex Alexander. It's like, I, hey, I owe you more. It's like, I didn't know you felt like you stole from me. I hear it like that, too. So maybe it's Capricorn's read as well overlapping here. Yeah, they had an eagle eye perspective of you. They feel they had an unfair advantage. Some of you, they were watching you. You couldn't see that they were watching you, but yeah. Some of you, they were um, kind of like... Um, it's giving me like, uh, yeah, they were ha they were keeping tabs on you, but it's like from a from a distance, okay, like from far, far, far away. Like they had binoculars. Like you were at a disadvantage because you didn't know they had binoculars. You know, it's something like that. But yeah, this person here, clear in the single, they 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 need to let go of this. There's something here. I thought this said king. It says thinking. I listen to music thinking of you. I want to fuck you. Whoa. Uh, they feel like you don't know. You don't see it. I see an American flag here, red, white, and blue. The color is red, white, and blue. Yes. Return it. They want to travel to you as well. They feel like they were really possibly gross back there. Um, whatever that means. It's like, I feel I owe you big time. I see the Statue of Liberty again. I told you, like, this wasn't a big deal, that I didn't care as much as I, I seriously do. I do. I'm hearing, I do cherish you. Da -da 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 -da. Right, we're on Pisces right now. Um, oh, it doesn't show Pisces. Um, I'm hearing Rion on. Oh, I think it's a band. I'm here. Players only love you when they're playing. Uh, when they're playing, when they're playing. It's like, yeah, you're maybe some of you are a musician. I see you're in the studio. You return it. Oh my God. This person, this is Libra's read. Oh boy. So some overlap with Pisces and Libra. Because I'm seeing the same scene where this person emerging. Like they're going to come to you while you're gardening. It's like they're coming up behind you. You're going to feel them. Their hand on your shoulder, their hand on your, their hand on your back. Oh, I'm hearing. May. Does Ed Sheeran song what it was be all right this time darling just hold me close that's all i know baby i think it goes like that Dancing in the dark. Oh my god, I don't know. Isaac, you gonna let me lose followers like that? Okay. <laughs> With you between my arms, something like that. Um, a Sharan, barefoot on the ground, listening to our favorite song. Yeah, when I thought you needed help, so you look so beautiful. I don't deserve this you look perfect tonight perfect that's the song you're my world and you're so graceful you teach me things okay return to sender clear it in the throw chakra some of you pisces you need to definitely work on your confidence here okay i feel some of you like what this person is going to come to you with like in some kind of way you don't expect because of some kind of insecurity, you know, like, I feel like some of you are like, really? Like, that's how they feel about me. Like, I feel like, you know, this person, like, if th let's say this person were to sing that song to you, right? You'd be like, um, that's crazy. I don't know why. Like you, you, you would think like, I just can't imagine that happening for whatever reason. Like you need to realize that that doesn't make sense. Okay. Like there's no, so there's always going to be someone who loves someone. Okay. So you need to know like you're not an exception to that rule. Um, some of you here, like you feel this person, uh, maybe forgot about you even. Oh my God. I feel some pressure on the throw shock. We're here. Like almost as if someone's going to cry. It says, I listen to music thinking of you. I'm here in, um, tr tr uh, Trey. Like Trey, like Trey songs, like Trey food tray. Hey, baby. I don't, you yeah. know, even in that song, he says, I don't deserve this. Yeah. So it's something like that. Um, oh, baby. Hmm. Yeah, I just see this moment, like. This person comes up to you from behind. They put your, they put their hand on your back, and it's like, whoa, you're, you're, whoa. 
for some reason it's very shocking or something but i mean why would you think that pisces like i think that's the question that's that's what that's the contemplative point now um that's best for you to reach like you you would do really really well asking yourself why is it that i would be so surprised right that that um i would be an exception to 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 the rules of that song i hear like that wow maybe even like it's something ironic like you wrote that song even and it's like but you still feel surprised like if someone were to sing that to you it's something maybe of a metaphor with that anyways it's like you say that to other people but what about you it's like or something or it's like you feel you like them so it means that they don't really like you it's like maybe when you really like someone then you it makes you feel like more insecure so i, I would really reflect on that okay uh, uh return it i'm here with sean it says can we talk religion is a factor in his or her or their lifestyle and i see something someone here wearing cornrows Or maybe you get very emotional about this. It's like, but you know, it's, it's kind of, um, I think it's, it's a point of contemplation for you. Like maybe even for yourself, you ask, why did that, like, why was that such a huge surprise? It says, you're not my type. Maybe you've realized after this person comes through that you were maybe thinking like so silly back there. You were been thinking, oh, this person must have completely forgotten about me. And here they come with this love, this love story hmm. with you in it, like in their own mind that they've been experiencing. And it's like, oh, really? Let's clear it. We just, I'm here in no way. Hmm. Maybe even you're hearing this and you're like, yeah, it's not going to happen. I mean, I see something about a meadow. All right, Pisces. It says you're fine. Whip it, whip it. Maybe even someone here, you know, they really feel though that they, they have some perspective. It's a vantage point they have with you. Like maybe they, they know that they, you don't know like how they feel about you or something. I'm here in the game. Hmm. Isn't he a rapper? The game. I'm here in the game. Some of you, this person will write you a song. Um, all right. What about your family? I'm seeing something about vinegar. Like white vinegar. Let's clear it. In the heart chakra, in both ears. Some of you got really nervous as well. I think that um, there's something that's going to come up, like by way of this experience for you, where you will be able to see something clearly, like of, of yourself, something of yourself. Um, some of you, you got, like, very, um, how do we say, like, you, you thought this was, like, not gonna work, um, as well, like, you thought that this person, like, and you were gonna fall apart, but, like, they actually fought for this, um, I don't think that maybe you, you were expecting that. I'm seeing dark green, it says I'm hot for you, yeah, so, Pisces, you're gonna have something really proven out to you here. It has to do with matters of the heart, matters of confidence, um, remembering that you're also unforgettable. Like someone here did not forget about you, Pisces. All right. And they're going to prove that. We'll see you in the next video.